Well, look at that. Obsidian live? What? It's been like two weeks. Or or more. I don't know. It's been, it's been a while. Well, uh, welcome. I'm, I'm hoping that my stream actually looks okay. Um, I haven't actually stress test my internet here. So maybe we'll be fine. So what what is happening today? Uh, let me let me explain because this this is um this is a whole thing. Grounded had an update a while back, like I don't know a couple months ago or something. I don't know it's been a while, where they added a few new bosses. They added the Mantis, they added the Lost Queen, and they added the the final final boss of of the game, which is the Infected Broodmother. <laughs> And that thing is terrifying. I, I read through the wiki and it like, she heals herself, explosions heal her, she does a crazy amount of damage, there are permanent debuffs that she can do. It is wild how much this fight is kind of rough. So I've done a lot of prep work in my base. I've done every other boss that I can. We have enough right now that I could fight her once. You know, there's, there's the Wasp Queen. I could fight it once. I have not actually fought the boss yet. And I'm not, like, entirely prepared. So what I've been trying to do is I've read that fast weapons, um, like the spear or the um, the widow dagger are really good for this. But I haven't actually done it yet. <laughs> <coughs> Spider hunting, yeah. It's, um, yeah, it's going to be something. But here's what I have been doing. So I don't actually have all the smoothies yet. But I've been trying to get one of every kind of smoothie, and I, I was going to duplicate some of them. But I think I might just go grind out what I need to make them properly. Because I think, I'm pretty sure she does venom damage. So a waspidote would be pretty good, because that heals venom damage. Seems like it would be a good idea. But I need wasp paper to do that. So we're going to have to go grind out a little bit of stuff here or there. To be able to actually do this properly. But that's not a big deal. I know where to get wasp paper from. It's not a huge problem. But yeah, look. I've got, like... i got all this stuff in here. All the things. I've got, like, the wasp queen head. We've got the, the mantis over here. I've got shit all over the top of my fucking house. Like, look at all this stuff over here. I got, got brood mother. And we got... We got this, this thing. Which is just terrifying. More spooters. I got the mant and the mant gong. I have what well, was an arena, but now just holds the, the the raid thing. And what is definitely not an evil cauldron. De de definitely, definitely not a cooking pot. I swear. I I swear. There's it's nothing weird is happening here. Nothing weird. I swear it's safe. It's probably fine. Probably. It's definitely not a one of us. One of us moment. De definitely not. Why would you think that? Is it the skulls? It's probably the skulls. Look, it's fine. Yeah, so I need to go grind out some wasp paper. Um, I guess I haven't really showcased this base yet. The last grounded thing I did was um, the pirate ship video, but that was a whole different save file. So this is the new base. This is currently where everything is. I have all the armor sets, I have all the weapons, with the exception of the one from the Infected Broodmother. Culture of Doom, yeah, also High Charlie. We've got all this stuff on display as much as I can get, anyway. Um, let's see, I'll just I'll do a little bit of thing. Got Yoked Girth statue, Moldork is over there. We have our workshop, which is what this room is. We got the uh, kitchen and bar, I guess like a juice bar kind of thing, That's that's what this is. Periodically, I have these towers here. These are just for defense on raids. I don't actually get a chance to use them all that often because they changed the um, the turrets and how the turrets work. So I can't use them right now because I don't have a whole lot of um, extra bullets for that. So it's a bit of a bit of an issue, just a little bit. You know, just general common area. There's a couple other towers here, or there, and then we have the um, most notable feature of my base, which is this tower. <laughs> Which is what we're going to be using right now. So I, I learned ages ago that Grounded is a game that really benefits from having a tower, like a really, really big tower of some sort, or building on a very high location. Because you can pretty much traverse to anywhere that you want by doing so. 
So what I have done is I've created an extremely tall tower that all of my zip lines run from. And yes, I know that there is the zipper thing that you can use to kind of move up and down things, but it still is faster to like have things at a high angle. So right now we have a zip line that runs over there to the fountain, and there's a zip line that runs from the fountain over to the infected broodmother arena, which is way over there. In fact, you can see I have it marked with some stuff. Um, we have one that goes down to the pagoda thing, one that goes to Castle Moldork. You can actually see the uh, little tower I built over there. We have this one goes to the brawny bin box right where the wasp is. We're probably going to take that one in a minute because I need to get some wasp paper from the nests. And then we have all of these. So this one goes down to the oak lab. That one goes to a connector that is all the way over here. And then that connector runs to the um, infected broodmother over here. And then this one runs to the picnic table with the bees and that runs to the mantis. So I've got I've got quite a few things set up, and it, it is taking a very 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 long time to get all this kind of together. Oh but it has been very very useful. And you see, there's my base down there. Building on lily pads, actually really smart. By the way, it makes for um, a fun time. But getting what we need in terms of like healing shouldn't be too difficult. We have to kill some wasp drones here or there, but it should be fine. And get ready for some saves coming, because I, I have read up about what this fight is with the infected broodmother, and I'm gonna be honest, it's kind of a nightmare. So we will uh, we will deal with that when we get to it. But odds are I will probably die more than once. Probably many times, because this, this fight is very, very rough. All right, I don't have any ranged things to deal with this. Uh, that could pose a problem. I need to kill more wasp drones. So I have, I've been trying to collect all the gold cards and stuff. And I have the wasp queen. I got really lucky with that one. The regular wasp, but I don't have the drones yet. I need to get the gold card for the drones. If I'm lucky, maybe we'll get it this, this time when I have to kill these fucking things. Because wasps are always fun. People, people like wasps, right? All right, you gonna you come over here and fight me? What are you doing? Ow, asshole! Why don't you get a little closer? Come on. Why don't you come here? Come on, get over here! I don't want to throw stuff at you. I will if I have to. Ow, shit! I I I will deal with you, but. Okay, I need you to stop. Uh, okay, bit of healing is probably a good idea. Okay, can we stop? We, we can stop at any time. Oh, God. Hey! Yeah, I knew that was gonna go that way. <laughs> you know what, let's just, let's just load last save. Because I think I, I forgot to bring arrows and I kinda, I kinda need that. Take me back home! Take me home, country roads. To the place where I belong. Oh, we're already here. It auto saved me here. Okay. So that one doesn't count. That that's not important. Don't worry about it. It's not none of that happened. Also, good morning, Charlie. Already in trouble. Yeah. It just this bodes well for what this stream is gonna be. This is definitely going to be one of those streams that's going to be, um, oh, Obsidian's doing stupid things and, and beats his head against a wall in order to, um, complete something. It's like, yeah, yeah, no, that's, that is exactly what it, this is going to be. Beating my head against a wall. How's you, Charlie? What's going on with you? What'd it do? Hmm. There's got to be an easier way that I can do this. Let's see. Let's just jump up here. I think I got all the wasp paper that's out of the brawny bin box for right now. Gamorbin. <laughs> hmm. You know what I can do, actually? Can I, can I grab the rock? 
Yeah. What about just yeet a rock at one of them? Damn it. I missed. Hey, can one of you come over here and fight me so I can beat your ass? Hey, right, right here. One of you too. Damn it. I mean, I suppose I could munch it on lunch. Yeah, lunch sounds good. What you munching on? I, I just ate like some cup ramen and now I have coffee, which is d definitely a, a healthy thing to eat for, for sure. Probably, maybe, potentially. All right, you little bastards. How did that miss? God, you suck. There's not any readily available rocks here either. I'm gonna end up pissing off that fucking thing. Alright. Damn you. I will hit this with a rock. I, I will. Hold on. I'm gonna grab a handful of these. Hitting a wasp with a rock sounds like a great idea. It's fine. It's an odd pasta casserole. Ooh, pasta sounds good. Wait, what's, what's mad at me? What's mad? Fuck you! Here, I'll let the man deal with that. I'm a little busy at the moment. I'm trying to piss off a wasp. Yeah, fight me, bitch! Where is it? Come here. Bitch! Get out of here! Alright, now. No, you! Stop that! Get out of here. I'm busy. No one ask you, stupid fire ants. I get pretty sick of fire ants. Like, I think the upper yard is, is a really great place to get resources and shit. But also, it is really, really fucking annoying. Alright, that's the drone. That's the regular wasp. Yeah, it, it can be kind of fucking obnoxious when you're trying to do shit. Alright, I don't want to fight the drone right now. My guy! I'm out of rocks. God damn it. Hey! Come down here and fight me! Not you! God, I'm tired of your bullshit! God, how hard is it to piss off a wasp? Seriously. Hey, bitch! Okay, I don't need little black widow bastards. Fuck you, get out of here. Okay, I don't want to deal with you right now. Hey! Get mad at me! I'm in your space! I'm in your airspace, you asshole! And of course I piss off the drone too. Okay, I just need to get rid of you. Ow! Shit! You know what? I'm just gonna respawn a fill station. And my hat's dead. I got things to do. Yeah, it's fine. Um, hmm. You know, actually, I need to get apple bits, I think. Yeah, my hat's busted. It's fine. I killed one of them, though. You are no threat. I I am a triple threat, in fact. I say swears four, four or five times, and then I do th I do things. I, I will survive eventually. Look, don't worry about it. I should have repaired my hat, but it's fine. Drone, you better give me a gold card for all the trouble you've caused. I hope you're aware of how much of a pain in the ass you're being. 
It's very rude. Ow, could you not do that? That'd be great. I just need wasp paper so I can make a bunch of wasp oats. All right, now you stay right here. Just stay, stay right there. Fuck you, bastard. Overly aggressive. Look, I'm, I am always, always and forever overly aggressive. It is, just, it's how the obsidian do. All right, see, I killed the drone, but I didn't get a, I didn't get a thing for that. No gold card this time, unfortunately. I'm taking your food, Ant. You're, you're very annoying. Stop that, you asshole. God. Then dies. Shut it, Charlie. No one asked you. <laughs> so rude. Also, do you like my um, anti-Black Widow measures right here? Isn't this great? I could piss off the Black Widow, and then she can't actually get in here through the, the, the thing, because it's too, is too small, she can't get in. This is, this is the easy way to kill the Black Widow. Just back up and shoot her from a distance. Assuming them little fucking spiderlings don't cause problems. Alrighty. Well, that's, that's one bit of wasp paper done. You're currently falling, okay, whatever, fuck you. There's still plenty of other wasp paper that I could get. Uh, I should probably find some stuff to heal with though. I need this and that. That. Any other? There it is. Okay, nice. Yeah. See, look, we're doing we're doing good. I I have little things here and there just scattered about the yard that are just mildly useful on occasion sometimes. And it's how I deal with stuff. Not everything is, is dealt with though. Like there's like this black widow is pretty easy to like deal with. But there's a black widow that's way yeah, she's right over here. So I don't have this blocked off yet, because it would be a pain to do so. But it would be a lot easier to kill this one if I did so. I just never got around to doing it. But if I blocked it off, it could make life really easy, because then we could actually like, you know. Just pelt a Black Widow with a bunch of arrows and trap her inside of her hole. I'm like, yeah, bitch. I don't have like a huge need to kill Black Widows right now though, which is why I'm not too concerned with it. Look, Fire Ant, could you fuck off? I'm a bit busy right now. I need you to like not. Oh, I need a hot dog. Hold on. Are you still chasing me? My guy. Look, you you wanted this. I'll have you know. I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to do that. Look what you made me do. I was trying to mind my own damn business. And then here you are causing problems. Alright, can I get the... Um, can I get the, the hot dog trinket? I would like the hot dog trinket. Damn. No hot dog trinket for me. The the random drop trinkets are really, really a pain in the ass. I I want to get them all eventually, but they will require a bit of grinding. And I'm not sure how much I really want to do of that or not. I've been trying to get the fungal one, because the fungal one would be really, really useful for this fight. But unfortunately, I haven't been able to get it. The, the drop rate has been pretty bad. So there's just been no luck with that whatsoever. That's what I was trying to do yesterday. Like, I, I've been playing this last couple of days. And I've been trying to get all the trinkets and stuff. And all the ones that you can find, I have managed to collect. So I have all, like, the, the in-world ones. And I have a couple of the ones that come from just random drops. Like, I have the, the wormhole one, like the, the sour candy thing. 
And I think I've got one other one, but I need the mint one. I need, I need this. There's the mint, the spicy, and the salty, and I don't think I have any of those yet. Right, let's uh, start with this. Craft a bunch of these, please. Alrighty. Now, how to piss off just one of these fuckers. I don't really need rain ants, but I'll take it. Hey, you! Fight me! Fight me! Okay, fine. I'll, I'll find a way to make you fight me. They're usually super aggressive. Like, I always have to deal with them all the time. And then now I can't even get their attention. Won't even look at me. Rude assholes. Hey, asshole, get down here. Come on, get down here. You know where I can fight you. Ow. There we go, that's one of them. Ow, God. That that was a lot of pain just now, but you know what? We killed him. I just gotta wait a little bit to heal, and then we'll be fine. They're gonna end up raiding my house at this rate. I'm gonna go back to my base trying to get ready to fight the brood mother, and then of course these fuckers are gonna raid me. But again, I could just go ahead and knock that down. Let's see. I think the last time I did this, I just like yeeted my, my stick at it. Yeet! I need that back now. Hey, I, I need that back. I, I need that. Give me this. There it is. Your nest is mine. Oh great, I pissed one off. Ow, bitch. Okay, this is a problem. Whoa, I parried the shit out of that! Hell yeah! Bastard! Fuck you! How about it, you little bitch? Come at me again! <laughs> I was trying to heal and I still managed to perfect parry that. Fuck you! <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna actually block that. I thought I was dead for sure. All right, now where is the drone? Because I still have to kill the drone. It has to be, like, the problem with the drones is that they usually don't like getting in close. Hey, asshole! Get down here! Actually, I know I can get his attention. If I hit him with my, if I throw my stick at him, and it actually hits him, it'll do a good bit on damage and it'll piss him off. I had to change the yeet button from R to something else because it kept yeet. Oh, I do that all the time, Bananas. Like, actually. I do that all the time and it drives me crazy. I'm, I'm doing it on purpose now. But yeah, I'll, I'll try to press E or something and I'll just yeet my weapons. Alright, now, I need you to stay right... Stop moving, stupid wasp. Come here. Ah! Fuck you! <laughs> I don't have any arrows, so this will have to do. Come on. Come on, come on down here. 
Come on, do it, bitch. You won't. <laughs> if this actually works. If I manage to successfully kill it doing this, this would be the stupidest way to kill a wasp by far. Fuck you! <laughs> Where's my stick? Hang on. <laughs> I hope this works. I actually do. Hey, hey, come here. Come here, wasp. Come on, bitch. What up? Damn it. Hold on. I'll throw something else. Let's throw this. Fuck you! Alright, he stops right there. Fuck off! Oh, he already healed! Damn it! I... Shit, where did my... Where did my stick go? Where did my fruit mother stick go? Damn it, I have to kill this thing! I need the gold card! It, it would be... And I'm wasting on my wasp, but it's doing this too. But I want it. I should have brought my ranged weapons, and I just didn't. So, Banander, since you, you've been playing this game, have you fought the, uh, have you fought the infected broodmother? Maybe fight it on the streams of the wall? Yeah, I could do that. I'd get up there. Have you fought the infected broodmother yet? I, I have not. I've watched a fight, like, all the way through. Oh, yeah, this is still gonna suck. Okay. I need you to sit right there. And then that missed. Okay. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna throw this at him. Come on then. Could you stop? Could you, could you come over? God, I hate these things. I should go get my stuff. You haven't got that far. I'm playing with some friends and we just did the under porch and only beaten their regular pretty mom. Yeah, I, um, I, I've been trying to get people to play with me, but the problem is that I can't really get like a consistent group together. <clears throat> That's kind of been like the, the ongoing issue. So, thus far, I have managed to beat the Mantis, and I have beat the Wasp Queen, which both of those you need to kill to be able to do the um, Infected Broodmother fight at all. And I'm, I'm kind of terrified. This seems like super duper extra fun. Yeah! Like, I, I really like this game, like, a lot. I have, I have put a comically large amount of hours into it. Um, I think I've been playing it since before the, the main release, so I have, like... It's been since, oh god, a couple years ago. But I got this because a friend of mine wanted to play it once, and we played it like one time, and then we didn't really play it again after that. But I ended up getting addicted, and I've just been playing it nonstop. So I have like 800 hours in this game, something like that. Like, I have a lot of time in here. Let's see, I need to give this back. No, I just want my sword! <laughs> So much my grandma. Yo, same though. It it's like I, I think I told Charlie that this game kind of reminds me of like the cathartic experience I get from playing Minecraft, but the combat is so much better than Minecraft. So I I get a lot of fun out of this. Because like the combat's a lot of fun. It feels really good to be powerful. Like, especially when you start off, right? You start the game off and like the um you know, like, the, the insects are all really hard. The spiders especially are really threatening. And then by the time you get, like, late game, you just fuck shit up, like, all the time. And it's awesome. But it's not easy is kind of the thing. Like, I do a lot of damage, but I still have to actually be, like, good at the game to be able to survive. Like, just now we've seen me die stupidly to wasps. But, like, there's so many cool things that this game has. The combat is really, really fleshed out. Like, I was reading over the infected broodmother fight and what I noticed about it was, um, there are, like, it's the hardest fight in the game, and you have to have a lot of preparation to be able to deal with it. But when you actually go through, like, what it requires you to do, it's essentially making you utilize every tool at your disposal to be able to survive the fight, even on mild difficulty. And I love that. 
I love that they actually make everything that's in the game, everything that you could know how to do, like insect weaknesses and things like that, all of that is useful when you're trying to like deal with this fight. And a lot of the late game stuff is kind of like that. Like, yeah, sure, I can deal with, you know, spiders relatively easily or bees, but I can also easily get overwhelmed and just destroyed. It's not like it's super easy all the time, but I do like being able to kill wolf spiders in like four hits. <laughs> That's a very satisfying thing. I'll say, yeah, you haven't seen my base. I don't know if you were here yet, but uh, I'll show you what I got going for a base right now. Where did you guys build? I'm really curious where you decided to go. I've been building on the lily pads, so this is this is my compound. Remember, wolfy boys were scary. So let me just let me just stop here in photo mode. Switch to free cam. So this this is my base from up here. Um, obviously, I have a giant fuck off tower, which connects over to the hedge. It connects to Castle Moldork, which is over there. It connects to, oh god, the picnic table where the mantis is, the brawny bin box. You built next to the juice box where you built. Oh, nice. Yeah, I had to build this because I realized that zip lines, like you get like, because you'll see I have this little like zipper thing, right? Like the thing with the little aphid on it that you get after you do the, um, the, um, assistant manager fight. So. Yeah, oh, I have a lot of zip lines. But, like, while the zipper thing is really useful, I've still found that, like, you kind of still want a tall tower of some kind just to be able to go down fast. But I just got tired of, like, walking around. So I built this giant tower. I think it's actually taller than the picnic table is. And I built this specifically because I got sick of having to run everywhere. Especially to the upper yard. Like, the upper yard is such a pain in the neck to get to. But, yeah, I built right here because I've... I learned in one of my previous save files that building on the water is kind of like the safest place for you to be with the exception of raids from flying insects. So I built over here. We have these, these four towers here, which have the turrets on them. That's just for defense. I haven't really used them all that much though. Try to get my main spots like the picnic ball. Charlie, thank you for the sub of 41 months, by the way. Try to get my main spots like the picnic table, the porch, the stone wall. Yeah, that, that's pretty much what I did. <clears throat> We've got our four turrets for defense. I've got uh, a little waft emitter thing here, which used to be an arena, but it, now it's just where the waft emitter sits. The thing with the ox beetle on it, that's my workshop. With the, the stink bugs on it, that's the juice bar kind of thing. We'll go look at it more closely here in a minute. Where the mantis and stuff is, all of that is sort of like my spawn area. All of my stuff on display, a bunch of other things. And then we've got the hot tub surrounded by insects, which is definitely not a boiling pot of, of whatever. I swear. I promise it's not it's not sketchy at all. But yeah, we go to Moldork, the fountain. I have um actually I can showcase on the map. The rock that's over here by the end of the fence where the um the ore weavers are. I have a big tower here that connects directly from the base, and then that connects all the way over here to where the infected broodmother boss fight actually is. Because you can't, where I've built, there isn't really a direct route to get there. Then I've got a line that runs to the berry lab thing in the stone wall. One that runs over here to the fountain. One that runs to Moldork. I was going to run one all the way over here where that fill station is by the wheelbarrow, but it's such a pain in the ass. It actually blocks a good line of that. Yeah, it really does. I'm not sure where you could really build that would be, like best for everything like maybe somewhere over here in the middle of the pond like maybe that could be the way to get kind of directly to anything i'm not really sure but you know it's not too bad because my little like can, oh God, stop bouncing my little connector i don't know if you can actually see it from here it's yeah there it is it's way over there it just runs directly over to the broodmother thing which is somewhere in that direction yeah it's way over there Behind the the stuff. Strange question, not about the game. I see people literally build a, around the upper oak. Oh, yeah, I thought about doing that. Um, but I haven't really got around to doing it. Like, I was go like that's actually what I was going to do in this save file. But is your mic off to one side? No, it's in front of me. It, it's directly in front of me. It's sort of at a weird angle, but it is, or it should be, 
directly in front of me. It's just left on my ear. Weird. Why is it doing that? That's that's not supposed to do that. <laughs> Why is it doing that? So it's mostly on one side. What the fuck? Oh, you know what? I might have pressed a switch on it. I'm not sure what these switches do. Let's 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 test something. I'm gonna try this. Did that do anything? Is that is that any better? Look, my I just moved. I don't know if my setup is right yet. <laughs> Oh, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Where is my, my phone? Because I can look at something. I might have fucked up on something over here. Game balance. No, the balance should be right according to my, my mixer. That seems good. That seems good. Uh, yeah, the balance should be good. But I can move it slightly this way. We'll, we'll try to do that. Maybe that'll fix it. OBS being a silly, I mean, possibly. Is that any better? I just adjusted a little bit on the um, on the mixer itself, so that might it could be an OBS problem. I don't know. Again, I did just move, and I had to redo my entire setup, so this is still still the same. Okay, let's let's go hard into the other direction then. Yeet. <laughs> that any better? How's that? <laughs> I just. Max it into another direct. No? That's weird. Okay, hold on. See, now I'm supposed to be doing a game. And instead of doing the game, I'm like trying to figure out what happened with my mic. Oh, settings. Properties. High definition audio device. Okay, yeah, sure, sure, sure. All right. Why, why are you doing this this way? What the fuck? It could be where I have the mic plugged into. It's troubleshooting constantly. This is very true. Um, the sound, the sound. Uh, there is sound on the right, but it's not as loud. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna unplug my mic and plug it into something else, and we're gonna see what it does and see if that fixes it. Okay. So give me a moment. This might break everything. I don't know. Let's try it. Okay, wait, how's that? How, how is that one? Is that any better? Worse? Good? Bad? Did I fix it? Same? Is it a whole ass other port? OBS, what the fuck are you doing? Why? You're louder, but the same. Okay, well, I mean, I guess louder's good. Why? Advanced... Fucking OBS is stupid. Advanced audio properties. Desktop audio mic. Yeah, it's supposed to be balanced. Like it, it shows it as balanced. Oh god, I just rolled up into something. Fuki Tech. Desktop audio. That is so weird. Why? All right, let's try. I'm gonna do actually in OBS, not OBS, and I'm plugging to fix it, then I can protect it as, yeah, seriously. Then I guess I'll just move it back to the middle. Damn it! With sound issues, always playing Windows. I mean, it could be a Windows thing too. I could always check that because Windows is a mess. Where's my control panel? Your devices and printers. All right, sound settings. 
Okay, yeah, I see sound settings look good. Recording. Microphone, yeah, high definition on your device. So they're not gonna ruin stream. Like we can still hear you and that's good at least. Yeah, that's that's good. I'll have to troubleshoot that later. Like I'm checking windows, I'm not seeing anything here. I'm not seeing what, it might be just a mixer problem. I'm not really sure. Like again, I just moved and my entire setup had to be redone. So I'm not actually sure if things are gonna work properly, but at least you can hear me. So that, that's Gucci. But anyways, I, I will deal with that later. I tried, I tried my best. So it's very heavy on the left. But in Windows is a good default. They do be seeing, yeah, this is very true. Windows breaks everything. We did just have big Windows updates. Watch me like reset my computer and then there's no problems at all. Like watch that be what happens. Cause that's always what happens. Cause, cause Windows breaks everything constantly. All right, we need wasp oats, but I need this one to do heals. Whoa! Thank you for the sub, Bananas. I appreciate it. All right, I think I should have enough. We'll craft a bunch of these. All right, I have 24 wasp oats. You think that'll be enough? Oh, Charlie gift subbed. Okay. All right, we have 24 wasp oats. That should that should be fine, probably. Maybe. I'm not actually sure if it will be. I do know that my spear is not entirely leveled up to what it needs to be to do this fight. Because I should have it maxed out. But I haven't really done that. Yeah, deposit all that stuff. Deposit anything up here. And deposit in here. And where's the other food one? There. All right, spear should be fine. I think we'll do we'll do a slep to make sure we're good on that front, and then we'll go fight it. And upgrade rocks are expensive as heck. Oh yeah, the I I think I found all the ones in the world, so I still have to go do like like black ox beetle stuff. Um, there is the super duper now, so you can duplicate things. I haven't really, like, I think it's it's 2K to duplicate a horn. So you kind of have to do a lot of the, the daily missions and stuff to be able to do that. And I'm not really sure how, like, because the time it takes to grind out those missions, unless you just happen to get some easy ones, I feel like it's just, it takes too much time, whereas you could just go kill black ox beetles and still do stuff. So, yeah, I think it's easier to farm the beetles. All right, let's get... Two of these. Oh, pretty good. All right, we are now full health, full hunger. Let's let's do this. I am horrified at the prospect of fighting this thing. Full disclosure, because I know how hard this thing is. This is this is not news to me. I know how hard this thing is. <laughs> I don't want to have to do this, but I know I need to if I'm going to actually beat this game properly. Uh, I also need a shield. I think I need this one. Let me put that in my offhand here. Yeah, just use the rug mutation and sticky thingy string it to fight. Yeah, I'm... Oh yeah, I do need to decide what mutation I'm going to do. So we have barbarians not useful here. Javelin ear might be useful. So let's let's see what my build's gonna be. Alright. Mansterious Stranger, definitely that one. What does mom jeans do? Uh Spiderling summoning motherly cries. Okay, so I can summon a spiderling by doing that. That could help break aggro. Um Damage Reflect? No, I don't think that's good. See, steel item maybe. Loot luck is probably good. For later, let's see. Um, corporate kickback will help with healing stuff. Yoked blows will be good. Um, Truffle tussle we don't need because she heals from explosives. I forgot this game has character builds. Yeah, I love the man man mutation. Right? I keep it like all the time. I love it so much. Um, 
fresh defense, spicy safety, smash against stabbing girls, gas burn. Let's see, hyper stamina, but minus six. No, I don't need that. Um, the quickness, maybe moist, crit hit chance, maybe that might be helpful. Harvest speed, fall defense, max stamina. Um, parry master. Well, you have to parry a lot in this anyway. And I think I'm going to use my staff, so that's probably a good one. Unless I want to use one of these other ones, like loot luck or something. I think that's the build we're going to go with. I think this is how we're going to try this. We're going to roll for it. Where's my my trinket, though? I want this. My, my sticky trinket. I am very scared of this. Also, the devs are working on more content. I think that I checked their website to see what else they were doing. Um, I think it's mostly just quality of life stuff and a few more building recipes. I think that they've mostly finished what they were going to do. So why, why did I just do that? I know that they originally had ideas for like powered bases, but I don't think they're doing that anymore. As far as I can tell, there, there's like nothing that suggests that they're still working on powered bases. Because the Infected Broodmother, I believe, is the last actual boss they were doing. Which, according to the Wikipedia, was designed largely by just one dude. They were like, yeah, I get, yeah, my guy, you get full creative freedom on this. Have fun. And this guy just made the absolute meanest motherfucker of all time. So no more bosses, because there's certainly room for more. I, I would hope that they'll add more bosses. A cut boss like the Lizard and the Ant Queens. Yeah, I, I would like them to bring in, like, a frog or something. Like, I feel like a frog would be fun. Just starting on a sequel. A sequel could be good, too. There'd be a lot of room for that. I just, I don't want this game to, like, end. I want them to keep adding stuff. Because this game is pretty rad. I want more things. So, in my old playthrough, I actually built right above this. Like, right in this area, because it was just no grass to cut down. And it was just a series of towers that were above the stink bugs. But then I realized later on that whenever you, um, whenever you get rid of the haze, that fungus shit grows. And I was like, damn it, I have to deal with fungus bugs blowing up on my shit now. Used to be a horned lizard in the sandbox. You go to the sand castle, you'll notice a spot covered by the rock. Used to be in just Oh, I didn't realize what that was for. I knew that the entrance was there, and I'd seen that. I knew it was like a little hole. Um. But I didn't know that that's what that was for. That's really interesting. Going in the house would be really different. Yeah, I'd like, I want them to expand. Because like when you look at the map, right? We've got most everything up here in the upper yard. Like, that's kind of cool. We get the undershed. I want to go inside the house. You have this whole area of the map here that has been pretty underutilized since the game started. There's nothing back here. Like, not on the porch, not in the house. I want to know what you could do in here. I want something here. Open on the second floor. Yeah, I think some people have tried. I've watched a few videos of people where they, um, they've built really, really high and they've got over there and you just kind of clip through it. So as far as I know, there's, there's nothing you can really do. You just kind of clip through the wall, which sucks, but you know, whatever, I guess. All right, let's see. Let's drop down here. Yeah, I'm not I'm not ready for this fight. This fight worries me. Come on, go ahead and blow up if you're gonna blow up. Where's the other one? You blow up too. Yeah, go, because I don't need more of you showing up. So another a skink lizard would be fun. Oh yeah. Another fun fact for you. So you have you have this stuff, which will give buffs and debuffs to the player, but will buff the, the Infected Broodmother. And the Infected Broodmother is the only boss where you can actually see her prior to the boss fight. Wait, I hear that. Where is it? But yeah, she's right there. That That's the Infected Broodmother. She's just hanging out. So then I have combos like roaches or scorpions. I've always wanted scorpions. I have been a huge proponent of add scorpions to the game. That'd be super fun. 
Can you build over the water? Um, I mean, they have little flotation things, so you can build, like, because I've used some of them. You can do that, but as far as, like, inside the arena, no, I can't build in here. So inside the arena, like, over this, I can't build anything in here. Like, the moment you get to the entrance of the cave, you can't do anything. So you can't use your building to kind of, like, break the game to make the boss fight easier. So as an example, like, let's go... Yeah. I have I don't have land rights, so I can't build in here. They won't let me. <clears throat> Alright, well, let's, um... Let's do this then. What? Fuck, what? Can you just blow up, please? Because you're going to heal her anyway. Let's do this. I, I'm not... I'm going to die horribly. Yeah, let's go. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. Get out of here, bitch! Come on, man! We gotta get through phase one! <laughs> I can get a uh, gold card on the first time. I would love that. Alright, get out of here! That's just mean I can even kill this thing, because I'm not actually sure if I can. Come on, bitch! Ah, no, stop it! Ow! Oh, that's... That's the debuff I'm not supposed to get hit with, I think. Come on, Mant! Help me out, buddy! Ow! Ow! God! Get out of here. Please, please stop. Ow. All right, that's phase one. I hate this fucking thing. Oh, I didn't do it. <laughs> I did not do it. That's just phase one. This fight is so much worse than that. <laughs> this fight is so much worse. Come on then, bitch. Let's go. Ow. I'm getting debuffed all the time, too. Oh god, I'm dying. Uh, heal. So, let, let me explain what's happening, okay? Um, this boss has- she heals. Uh, but not only does she heal, she debuffs you permanently. So, if you get hit with certain attacks, you will be debuffed. And you- we will not go away unless you die or beat the fight. And it, it can cause you to take more damage, it can cause you to not be able to heal from smoothies. It's fucking ridiculous. And she can steal health from you. So yeah, that's that's a thing. And this is just this is just phase two, mind you. Yeah, already you can tell that my healing is kinda worse. Yeah, and she's already healed. Come on, man. Help me out, buddy. Come, come hither. I need you to get closer. God, I can't see shit. Stop laying the strange spores, please. Quit healing. Uh, 
All right, come here. My God, I can't do damage. <laughs> Get out of the water, you asshole. <laughs> Stay over here. No, stop it. What is it? Yeah, th this fight is, um, there are three phases to it and she fakes death in between each phase. Yeah, so she, she heals from explosions. So you can't, like, anything that does explosions at all heals her. So, like, even your own weapons. If you were to bring, like, or bring, like, splat bursts and stuff, that will heal her. It's, it's fucking stupid. This, this game is broken. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's make sure we do this again. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this, honestly. All right, come on then. Come on then, bitch. Let's go. I'm out of stamina. Okay, hang on. Oh, yeah, I got an infected chunk for that. Nice. Come here, bitch. Wow. Let me heal again. Ow, stop it. Come on, Mant. Come on, buddy. We gotta go. All right, that's phase one. Phase one's pretty easy. Getting sticky finger steals means you can uh, swap trinkets now. Unless, uh, um, I don't think it's actually the trinket. Yeah, it's just an infected chunk. So, ow. Yeah, there's a debuff. Okay. Yeah, why don't you stay over here in the corner? Don't you say, say no. Ow. Ow. Asshole. I was like the infected weevil. Alright, come here, you. God, stop healing. Just stay in the corner. I should have, like, done some sort of, like, fresh defense or something. God, you already healed? God, you asshole. God, how do I... How do I even do that? Like, you're supposed to... The way that you're supposed to do this is you're not supposed to play passively. You need to be very aggressive in this fight. How the fuck am I supposed to do that? <laughs> God, uh... I, I really don't know what I'm to do here. Let's let's try my, my usual weapon. I got my Broodmother Club. I'm willing to give it a shot. It sucks at parrying, though. And it eats up a lot of stamina, so... How about we try this shit? Come on. That is barely doing anything. Alright, let's let's just not do that. Ow, fuck off. My guy, I need you to chill. Wait, how the hell did I heal? Ouch. Ow. Okay, that went horribly. 
She's risen to everything too, I bet. Um, I'm pretty sure. I I'm pretty sure she's resistant to like basically everything. But the waspidotes were a good decision. I know that that was helpful. So that'll that'll help, especially in phase two when she does venom damage. I'm just like, how am I, how am I gonna do enough damage to this? Like I'm, I'm really just not sure what I could even do here. Let's see data. Let's take a look at her. She, she's big to fresh. So if I had like a fresh spear, I might be able to do that, but that would require a lot of grinding. Yeah, you can you can stop that. Oh, you know what? I think I know exactly what it is. I think it's one of the mutations I have that lets me heal by doing damage. Ow, we could we could just not do that. All right, come come hither then. All right, man, come on, help me deal with phase one. Come on, can you aggro something else, please? Come on, stop that. Also, I don't see her health bar anymore. That's a problem. Please just die in phase one. All right, that's phase one. How the fuck am I gonna do damage here? You get shipwreck and send these fall down forever. Yeah, that, that pretty much is exactly it. All right, man, help me, help me deal with it, buddy. Uh, why don't, why don't you come on over here? Oh God. Come on. Ow. Well, that's the debuff. Stay over here in the corner, you asshole. Wait for Salmon to come back. Ow. That sucks. Yeah, like she's she's debuffing me where I don't do nearly enough attack. Nope, come on. Alright, man, let's go, buddy. Kick her ass. No, you don't. Come here. I don't give up very easily. You'll find out that I'm a rather stubborn motherfucker. Ow. Stop debuffing me, you prick. Ow. Now, stop that! Oh God, just die! Nope, stay out of the water, you dick. Ow! 
No, stop it! Stop! Get out of the water! I don't want you healing. Ow! Shit! I can't fucking see anything. And look at how much health she- look at how much fucking health she got back from that! Bruh! <laughs> she can hit your own man- man on ice? Yeah, for real. God damn it! This is so hard! <laughs> this is so hard! I'm very stubborn though, so we're gonna be here a while. I'm a very, very stubborn motherfucker. And I could... Alright, let me let me check what my, my mutations are. We might be able to do something else here. Let's see, mutations. Let's see, I have the javelin, so I am doing better with the spear right now than I would have been normally. We have yoked blows, mysterious stranger, corporate kickback. Corporate kickback is definitely helpful here. Um, Hauling strength, loot, luck, steel item. I'm not using a boss weapon, so Apex Predator wouldn't be very useful. Um, didn't deal increased damage to creatures involved in defense events? No. That's not useful. Poison resist might be helpful. We could do... See, yoked blows are, are crit hits, though, so that's kind of why I have that. If we got rid of this, and we did crit hit chance, maybe? That could be useful, or mom jeans. One of those two. I could do mom jeans. We'll try that. Infected broody mom switches her. Yeah, really and truly. I gotta keep her out of the middle, though. Come on, then. Damn, I already got a, a thing for that. Let's go then, bitch. I fought enough spiders, I can deal with that. Yeah, let's let's just not do that. Ouch. I am summoning my own spiderlings and the mant. Oh great, I'm already infected with poison. Okay, can my can my stamina come back please? Thanks. Alright, get out of here. All right, man, we got this, buddy. All right, phase one, not too bad, not too bad. Let's harvest this up. All right, let's do phase two. I did not perfect block that. Ow, shit. Nope, you're not hitting me with that this time. Okay. God, she hit herself. That's a really weird jump. Stop healing. Her jump is like a lot longer than usual. Ouch. Ow, stop it. How about you just don't do that? Wait for my stem to come out. Oh, please. Oh, God, she's going to heal all over that shit. And we're back to full health again. Okay. Okay. 
Stop landing on explosions, you asshole. Ow, my god. She's already healed again. Fucking hell. Just stop doing that! My god. They heal so much! How the fuck? <clears throat> I really don't know what I'm gonna do about this. Cause like... She heals so much by doing, and I don't know how to like stop her from doing that. How the fuck do you do that? <laughs> like, what would you even, what would you even do? Because like she summons them there around the the ring of the arena, so I guess keep her in the middle. But that's where the pool of stuff is that heals her. So that's not the most helpful thing here, honestly. Alright, let's try this one more time. Oh, uh, you're starting on the five hit combo immediately, great. Yeah, why don't we- why don't you just go back into the corner, yeah? Why don't you go back there? Yeah, just- just stay back there. Look. Just- just stay over here in the corner, how about that? Yeah, just- just- Just stay back there. You'll be fine, come on. Yeah, come on. Keep keep hanging out back there. I have two mants. Come on, guys. We got this. I believe in us. Go team. Yeah, phase one's not too bad. All right. All right, phase one, not too bad. Is there a type of taunt? Uh, not that I know of. A taunt would be nice though. Harvest that. Shit. Stay in your little corner. You don't you don't get to leave the corner. You stay in your corner. No. Back back to your corner. No, go back to the fucking corner. But I can't see shit with this. Go back into the corner. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, stay, stay right over here. No, not to the pond. God damn it, just, just stay back by the door. God, fuck it, and she's already healed up again, my guy. How do you keep doing this? Fuck 
you. God! I don't do enough damage. But I'm like, my, my spear isn't max level, but it's almost max level. I only need like one more thing, like one more tier up and then it'll be max. I might have to make like a, like a, like a, it's, I think that if I'm not exploiting her weakness, I'm not going to be able to do it. Because I, I can't think of any way that I could do this otherwise. Like, I'm not doing enough damage otherwise. I need a fresh weapon that's up to max. Like, I feel like that's kind of what I need to do. Because I don't think I can do this otherwise. If I'm not exploiting her weaknesses and I'm not keeping the pressure up constantly, I don't think it's... I don't think I can do that. I have a Widow Dagger that's that's almost leveled up. It's not fresh Widow Dagger, but I could I could probably make one and just make another Widow Dagger. Unless I have enough stuff to make another spear, in which case I might just do that. I think the spear does more damage than the dagger does. The whole reason you want to use this is because of how fast it is, right? Because I don't typically use like spears and shields and shit like that's just that's not what i typically do because i like to rely on like my heavier weapons to do a lot of damage but with this fight specifically it's just i mean i i've seen what phase three does and i know damn well that i won't be able to do that i gotta do my build i'm a bleed dot with poison oh okay what are the mutations you're using I can't think of another way to do this. I don't have nearly as many as you do. Yeah, I mean it's it's fine. Like I said I'm I'm in game. I have everything except for the stuff from this fight specifically. So it's it's kind of just what it is. We might be grinding here a little bit because I can't. I don't think I can do this right now. There's so much about perfect blocking that you have to do. Yeah, Mom Jeans, Assassin, Mant, and then whatever defense ones are appropriate. Yeah, I'm using Corporate Kickback because that helps me, like, it's kind of like a lifesteal thing, I think. Um, you, you kind of slowly regen stuff, which helps a little bit. If I had the Fungal Charm, I would be using that as well because that helps reduce the damage I take from explosions. If I could get it, but that's a rare drop from Fungal stuff. And I haven't managed to get it yet. I've been kind of unlucky. I just... God damn, this fight's hard. I knew it would be. But, like, fuck. Let's see, do I have... Alright, let's just drop. Ow, hey, I, I changed it to the thing. Let me, let, me just, let me just do this. Let me just do my tuft. Okay. Uh, what do I have in terms of... I don't have anything enough to duplicate that. So, let's see. Can I make another Widow Dagger or another Spear? I can make another Spear. Okay. Let's craft one. Let's upgrade that. And then let's make it a fresh one. All right, I need some more mint globs. Uh, let's see. What does the mint jewel need? Need supreme whetstones. Ugh. The trinket drops are so weird. I've got like three fresh candy trinkets, but none of the other ones. Yeah, like I've got... Hold on. Well, that's cooking. Let's go take a look at what I actually do have. Um, do, 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 do. It's in this. So, I have the larva spike one. I have the shield one, which actually I could probably use the shield one. That, that might be a good trinket to use. Um, the Fancy Fletching, which I just got. The Whittle Whittling is a good one that just summons little whittlings to help you. Um, I got the Wormhole one, the Power Droplet, the Rotten Berry Charm, and Sarah's Charm. Um, Sarah's Charm is craftable. All of these Ominent Badges you can find. This is just a rare drop from stuff. This is a rare drop. You can find the Power Droplet, Thor's Pendant, the Whittle Whittling. Those are all findable ones. Uh, Thor's good for any build with how many buffs it gives. Yeah, what does this one do? 
Um, it's just it's pendant. What does that do? Hmm. Could be good. This one, I think I might use the the shield one. Actually, that might be the most helpful because that would increase my shield strength, so I'm not getting like constantly stunned out. Look it up because it gets so much. The game literally can't list it all. That's hilarious. Well, let's take a look. Uh, grounded Thor's pendant. Uh, I don't want the location. I already own it. Thor's pendant. Um, let's see. Trinket buff stats, health regen, stamina regen, crit hit chance, crit hit damage, healing received, sizzle effect resist, attack stamina cost, stamina regen, delay, hunger, so it does cause some negative stuff, so attack stamina is down, sizzle effect is down, er, so attack, stamina regen, hunger drain, and thirst drain are all down because of it, but it does everything else that's pretty good. With, mmm. The region delay. See, that the region delay thing might be the problem with using that. Because if I run out of stamina during this fight, which will happen, then it's going to take it forever to region. And with how much she attacks, that's kind of a death sentence. Like, especially in phase three. Like, I've, I've looked through what phase three is. And as fast as she is now, she's like three times as fast then. So, I'm really just not sure if I can even do that. Let's see. I still need Supreme Whetstone, so I'm going to have to go kill some Ox Beetles. And cra can I craft any? Is that a thing I can do? I can't. And the Super Duper is not super helpful for that thing either. All right, well, I guess we'll go kill some ox beetles because we're going to have to... we got a lot of work to do. I thought I had done enough prep work for this, but apparently not. Which is wild because I am... I literally have, like, all of my armor is maxed out. I have a ton of the smoothies. I think the fresh defense thing might... Or the, the fresh attack might be the only thing that I could really do to properly, like, deal with this. Otherwise, I think it's just getting good is kind of the only thing. Uh, let's see. There should be two Black Ox Beetles this direction. It is silly that the game doesn't tell you what buffs it doesn't give. Yeah, I kind of wish they would fix that. Um, I think that on their website they've said they have quality of life changes that are upcoming. And that might be one of them that they explain to you what the buffs do. I really hope that they will do that because... It is, I've had to go to the wiki constantly to look for what the buffs actually do. <laughs> like, come on, guys. I kind of need, need a little bit of something here. Uh, let's see. I don't think there's any black ox beetles in this section. I think they're all over there in the corner. I think. Shouldn't be too bad. Then we can go to the Undershed. Kill the Ox Beetles that are there. And yeah, some Ladybirds to deal with. Alright. Yeet. Like, this game is, is such like a, a weirdly comfy game for me. So are you not eating food before fighting the Broody Mom? Um, I probably should be. It should be Monster Hunter rules. I have to check what my food actually is that I could use for that. I have to check. I know that you can drink from the pool, and that's a whole thing. Um, but that also gives you like a hundred percent damage. Double, like it basically just doubles the damage you take, which sucks. So I can't really drink from that. All right, get out of my way, Ant. I'm a little busy right now. All right, give me, give me the hot dog trinket. A hot dog trinket. All right, get out of my way, nerds. I'm busy. You know what? No, fuck you guys. Ah! 
Ow! Assholes. Stop running away, you dick! I got so many ants. Bunch of assholes. Nah, I'm not taking this line down. Come on down here then, if you want to fight. Let's go. I, I chose this fight. No, you don't get to run away. That's, that's not a thing you get. This is, this is a personal vendetta. Fuck you. Get out of here. How about you? I'm gonna fuck you too. Now nah, come on. I'm, I'm not done with this. Get out of here. Assholes. Uh, a new strat's needed. Hi, Anne. <laughs> yeah, we, we do need a new strat because the the infected brood mother is is so hard, and I I just don't think I can do the damage that I need to do right now. It's it's rough. Like it's it's such a pain in the ass. So. We're gonna have to just do a little bit more grinding. And I didn't want to do more grinding. I thought I had done enough. But apparently, I did not. No, ladybirds. I don't want to deal with you right now. Yeah, I'll just use that. Instead of wasting my wasp oats on this. Right, there should be two... Black Ox Beetles over here? Get out of my way, fucking nerd. God, assholes! Well, your mom is a very tough mom. She is. It's very tough. It's tough love. I'd rather fight the regular brood mother. <laughs> She's much easier in comparison. I'm just gonna tank it through. Literally, the Wikipedia, or, or the, the wiki, literally says that you can't tank your way through the infected brood mother fight. Because the debuffs that she does will make it so that your smoothies don't really do anything at all. I don't know what it is, but finding teeth in this game will stick with my gremlin brain. The, the teeth... Okay, I have all the milk molars now, but when I first saw it, I was like, Ugh! Ugh, that's just upsetting. Because imagine, like... Imagine for a second. That you go buy, like... Some, like, fucking gummies or some shit. Like, vitamin gummies. And instead of it being just vitamin gummies, they're just crunchy teeth. It's like, ugh. <laughs> it's so upsetting. <laughs> it's a 90, it really is a 90s thing, though. It really is. I thought they were real teeth, too. I legitimately thought they were real teeth. I was like, what the fuck? Like, I knew there were dead bodies that you could find, but, like, bruh. <laughs> I didn't think that they would add, like, real teeth into the game, which, of course, they didn't, but I thought they did. Oh, two black ox beetles. Well, that makes things a little easier here. You know, let's just fuck you. Nope, stop that. How about you eat shit? Ow! Fuck. Out, my guy. Fucking fuck off. Alright, let's heal. Out. Stop hitting me with rocks. I know I'm a geologist, but I don't want rocks to the face. Yeah, how you like that shit? Fuck you. I'll waste my wasp notes doing this. There, got him. Uh, then I found the bottle. Yeah, I I remember when I I first saw that I was like, bro, what? 
you f you for real with this? It was it was so upsetting to find that. And also, I got no black ox beetle horns for that at all. I got nothing out of that. Heard you like rocks. I want to share them with you. Yeah, I mean, t totally. Okay, I'm trying to remember where the next ones are. They're not, like, this is all the ones that are on this side of the yard. But I think we gotta go elsewhere. Oh, shit, right. Coals. I forgot about the coals. Forgot about that. It's fine. I got it. I'm good. I wonder if maybe, like, there's some mutations that I'm missing that might be more useful. Like, okay, let's take a look what we got here. Mutations. I think this is from punching shit. Um, one of these is from the dagger, I know. I don't know what the other one is. There's, I know there's a couple of these that I'm missing, but I'm not sure. This is the one you get from the infected broomless. I'm not worried about that one. I don't remember what this is. What is this? Coup de grass. How do I? Well, what? What do I need to level that one up? That might be. If that's what I have equipped right now. Well, that's Perry Master. Never mind. Hmm. Gotta run an errand. I shall return. Assassin is the dagger, which does bleed damage. Okay. Do I have that? Mithridism, no, I don't think I don't think I have that one, because I don't really use the dagger all that often. So I'd have to get the dagger mutation. Yeah, I have to do that one if I wanted to use the dagger. But I have the javelin one. So how did you get the first level of the coup de grass? I think it's from like, oh god, what what do you do to get that one? Hold on. Uh, grounded mutations. Uh, okay, let's see. Dissection expert. Lil Fist is the one from Punching Shit. Smasher is the other one I don't have. That's from Hammers. Um, which I just haven't got yet. Assassin is the one. So you need to kill 40 creatures with the dagger. So I need to kill 200 things with the dagger. Um, harmless creatures don't count. So that's the whole thing. I oh, know, I don't I don't care about spoilers. Um Yeah, okay. What was coup de grass? I don't remember. Whittle Wizard? Oh, that's the thing from the step oh, that's hilarious. I didn't know that was a mutation they added. That's one that I'm missing, it's the wizard one. That's so funny. Okay. I might use that later. Uh Coup de Grass. Discover the four leaf clover landmark. Roll a 20 with a d20? Wait, that's how you get that? That's so funny. <laughs> well, now I have to, like, go play around with that later. That shouldn't be all that hard. I'll just go get, like, one of my hammers and just go go crazy with it. After we grind out some black ox beetle stuff. I didn't realize it was the d20. That's really funny. Yeah, I can worry about that one. The dagger one... See, I don't think I have the dagger in my inventory run, do I? Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, why don't we work on getting the assassin stuff? It's probably helpful. Well, they did with the two... Yes, yeah, same. Honestly, like... This game has such, like, charm and nostalgia to me. Because it... I mean, I grew up... Like, I was born in 94, right? So, like, I kind of grew up in the late 90s. And the early 2000s. Somewhat closer to Zoomers than I am than anything, but... Sounds like time to farm mites. Oh yeah, that's exactly what it's gonna be. Time to farm some mites. I gotta kill dust mites to get, um... The, or hopefully to get the dust mite card, like the gold card. So since I'm up here, and I need to use my, my thing anyway, we'll deal with that. Hey, why don't you, uh... Come on. No, come fight me. Fight me, bitch. Let's go. Don't run away. This is so rude. <laughs> Alright, come on, Stamina, come back. Uh, 
How about you eat shit too? Come here. <laughs> so rude. <laughs> oh, he's clipped into the ground. Hey, why don't you come here? What up, dude? I feel like I'm just slapping him. Swap, 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 swap. <laughs> oh, I got more, more ants here. Come on. Bam, bam. Ow, I died like an idiot. Swap, 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 swap. Uh, let's see, what was my last save? How far back was this? I didn't need to fight ants with this. This was kind of stupid. Wait, when was that? That was 301. It's 306. That was five minutes ago. That's probably fine. That's not with Broody Mom. Gotta grow some errands on my own. Yeah. Well, good luck with your errands. It's fun chatting. We should we should talk more about it. I don't have a lot of, like, people that I know that really play grounded aside from, like, myself. <laughs> so, yeah. Shoot me a message sometime. We should talk about that. I want more people to play with me in this. Unironically. I, I'm very biased. As, as it turns out, but you know, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, let's see, where's my dagger? I do need that back. Hey, I guess I'll fight the fire ant. Come here. Fire ant, hey, come here. Bitch. Uh, let's see. I don't have anything to craft normal healing items. Damn it. So, Anne, how is, how is you today? I am obviously struggling, but I'm trying to be strategic. I'm having to min-max for once, and Sam would be proud. I'm sitting in actually having to min-max something? Crazy. It's just not how I do things usually. <laughs> but it's fine, because this game encourages that. I'm doing good, chilling because it's long weekend. Yeah. It's not a long weekend here. I have to go to work tomorrow. Like, actually, first day of work, seeing as I just moved. But you know what? Like, we're unpacked. We're all good. We're from the new place. Hopefully, my uh, stream quality isn't the worst. But you know what? Like, Doing doing all right from Atlanta. And I'm not even really worried about saying that I'm, I live in Atlanta because Atlanta's fucking huge. You get the fourth off? Not that I know of, but I'll have to ask. One day I worked in this art. Yeah, I don't think we do. But I'll have to, like, double check that. So I was doing some research um, on Atlanta before I moved in. So Georgia has, like... Like, a hundred-something counties. Like, it's, it's just so many counties. The Atlanta metropolitan area takes up, like, 13% of the entire state. Just by itself. It's, like, 20-something counties. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, why is Atlanta so massive? <laughs> I mean, it has, like, its own, like, little tiny communities. It's just, like, you have, like, the me metropolitan area, and then you have, like, the smaller things that are in that, but... I just find it very amusing that Atlanta is, like, just by itself in its surrounding areas. It's like, nah. Time for, uh, time for everything. Wow, yeah, it's, it's a huge amount. Ow, could we, could we not do that? You know what, no, I'm, I'm not doing this. Fuck you. Alright, I'm fucking sick of ants. Fuck off. Alright, let's get my daggers. Alright, did, did I kill one? Okay, I can't see fucking anything. Hey, could we, could we not do that? Come here. Ouch! God, the dust mites suck. I hate dust mites. Give me that. 
As much as I want to get like the assassin stuff, I don't. I'll just fight regular mites for that. Black ant, could you fuck off? All right, no one wants to deal with your bullshit right now. Where are you at? Come here, you little bastard. Get out of here. You too. I'm sick of your shit. Get out of here. 2021 since it's close to 500k people. Yeah, it's it's a lot. Like, it, Atlanta is just a very, very large area. And there's a lot to do. Like, I, I'm actually pretty happy about having to move here. Um, despite the fact that it cost me a lot of fucking money to move. Because there's just, there's so much more to do. And that's, that's very good. Because I've had to, because of the jobs that I've had to do in the past. I've had to do a lot of, like, just nothing. Because I live in remote areas. But now that I actually live in an actual city. There's, like, an Asian market that's, like, 15 minutes away. There's actual things to do. And I'm like, man, I, I miss having stuff to actually do. I go to buy groceries like the first day that I moved here and there was a movie theater just right by the grocery store So I wouldn't watch the new spider-verse movie and I was like hell yeah, man Like I could actually watch movies again Because the place I lived in Alabama had um, no movie theater as it turned out Which kind of sucked I think that's everything. Yeah, I'm in civilization now exactly I don't live out in the middle of the boonies in a meth murder house. <laughs> the, speaking of meth murder house, so my, my lease for that place doesn't end until uh, the end of July. So I'm supposed to pay like the last month's rent, right? So I got up yesterday, because it was the first, and the yeah, rent is due on the first. And I'm like, okay, like, I'll go pay it online. We'll be done with it. So I go to log into the, the, like, the portal to do that. And I can't. I can't log in. And I couldn't figure out why. And I'm like, why can't I log in to pay the rent? What is what is happening? So I, I'm like, okay, well, let's go see if I can't like create an account based off of like the location. But it's not even there. Like I just can't do anything with it at all. There, there's like nothing I can do. So what I think happened, and th this is just a guess on my part is that when I talked to them the other day, they have like a, um, what is it? They have a like inspection you're supposed to do every time, that, or like when you go to like renew your lease, you're supposed to do your own personal inspection of it and then <clears throat> like submit it to them on that front. So, I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. So they, they send you an email being like, hey, be sure you do your, like, inspection or whatever. Except the difference is that because I'm moving out, I don't have to do that. I confirm with the office that I don't actually have to do the inspection myself. They will do their own inspection, whatever. But I still get emails to do this inspection. And they were, I told them to remove that email so I don't keep getting notifications for it. But I think they deleted my account that I used to pay my rent instead. I think they misunderstood me and just deleted my account and now I can't pay rent. So I have to call them tomorrow and be like, hey, what the fuck? I need to be able to pay this so we can all be squared away. And it's not what I wanted you to do. So what the fuck happened? I think that's what happened, like legitimately. I'm not sure, but I think that's what happened. And I'm like, what? I said the Z tenant thing to do my inspection. Just just delete that. Not my actual account so I can't pay rent. <laughs> Cause I was like really tired and I was like, okay, maybe it's like, maybe it was my fault, you know? Like maybe I was like too tired. Maybe I keyed in my password wrong. So I was like, I, I requested like a password change and it was supposed to send something to my email. Nothing, not a single thing, not in spam, none of that. Not a, not a word, not a peep. So I'm just like, what? What is happening exactly? Like, like, why is it that on the very last month I can't pay the rent I'm supposed to pay to have that squared off and be done with it? Like, what's what's going on with this shit, guys? Come on. But, you know. 
it uh it is what it is i guess it's just mildly annoying because i'll have to call them tomorrow when i get off work and be like hey um what what gives what's what's happening can you guys fix that that'd be great Damn it, I didn't get the uh, the thing I wanted out of this. Rotten food. Mm, more rotten food, don't need any of that. Sag, yeah. I mean, if they don't wanna like charge me for that last month's rent, I mean, that's fine. Just give me my security deposit back, that'd be great. Because it's not like I canceled the lease, which is what I think they thought I was doing. Like, when I'm going to go talk to them, I think they thought I was going to cancel the lease early. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm just giving you the keys. So you know. Like, I'm just handing you the keys. Because I'm not driving three hours back to Alabama just to give you the fucking keys and do an inspection. Like, I'm just, I'm not going to do it. It's just, it's not worth the time. It's kind of worthless. Let's see. Okay, there should be Apple Bits right there. Black Oxhorn, survey resource. Oh, you know, I know exactly where we are, hang on. Let's grab this. I mean, if they wanna, if they wanna just like, yeah, no, don't worry about it, whatever, my guy. We, we don't care. That'd be one thing, but we're going to have to just find out. But I won't know until tomorrow when I call them because their offices are closed all weekend. Which is just, just so helpful. It's, it's fine. I guess. Just a little bit. Alright, Black Ox Beetles. It's time for you to die. Right, I should probably save it in case... Oh, I can't because I'm fighting a shitty fucking thing. Alright. Let's go over here. Oh, there's three of them in here. Pog. Alright, well, let's piss off one at a time. Ouch. How about no? Let's heal up first. Right, stamina, come back, please. Fuck off. Ow. All right, that's two down. What the fuck? What the? What the fuck? Where? Where did he go? <laughs> where did he go? Did he just yeet? What? Where did it go? <laughs> Excuse me? Also, still no Black Ox Beetle stuff. Are you kidding me? Get my guys, come on. They are being really stingy with these horns, though. Oh, there he is. Let's see if I can bait him into fighting one of these things. Yeah, come on, come fight him. Come on, come fight. There it is. All right, he's got one of them, so I'll kill this one. Fuck you, termite. Uh, let's do this heal. Yeah, how about it, bitch? I've enlisted the help of a termite. Ow. 
Ouch. Let me just heal really quick. Nope. No throwing rocks at my face, please. Ow. Termite soldier, could you fuck off, please? Like, no, actually, I don't even need to fight you right now. I'm gonna do a heal. Alright, come here. Both of you need to fuck off. Unless you want to give me a gold card, you can fuck off. Fuck. You. Stupid termite. Uh, now that you have an Asian right near you, you should totally add a walk to your throne so I can get it for you as a house friend. I mean, I could add a walk. I haven't added a lot of stuff to my throne, and I probably should. I know that, like, there's only three things up there right now. I haven't really got around to doing it, but maybe this week I'll add more stuff to that. Ow! Did you did you hit the termite? All right, come on. Yes, fight the termite. I'm getting pretty good at parrying this stuff. I'm wasting on my wasp notes though, which sucks. Damn, I didn't get any gold card from that thing either. Come on, quit being stingy with the gold cards. Quit being stingy. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, you know, definitely play for this week. Yeah, we'll we'll see. Like this is the first week back. Um, there's a lot going on, but I should have the weekend off especially. So, you know. It's a good start. Like, we're, we're getting there. Like, I'm honestly very glad to get back to work. Like, as much as I've had a lot of free time, I've also had, like, a, a kind of executive dysfunction issue. <laughs> because having all this stuff kind of looming over my head has been kind of stressful. So, it's, it's very nice now that I can go back. I can start earning my pay again. I can get a good sense of my finances in my, you know, next month or two. I'll actually have all of my stuff kind of squared away and we're back into, like, a normal thing. Transitioned out of Alabama, have all that stuff situated. Like, it, it'll be great. Not having all that stuff just done and it's been looming over my head for weeks has just been extremely stressful. And I'm like, yeah, let's just, let's not. Let's, let's just not do that. I think, uh, I think I'll hard pass on it. Okay, these are spider eggs. That's where that would be. And it's only going to be inside the Black Widow nest, which I'm not doing. Same with that. So, we need to head there. Where is that in relation to me right now? I don't even, oh, there it is, it's over there. But getting back to work, getting, you know, I'm, I mean, training on a lot of new stuff. Which by the way, is gonna be very cool. Cause like what, what the company I work for is doing here is um, unlike before, I'm not in the middle of the boonies doing a, um, <clears throat> whatchamacallit, like a, a random cleanup project. We get shipped in a lot of stuff that they get, like, they get kind of used everywhere. Like, the guy that I work for, he said that he's personally seen most landfills in the eastern U.S. because he's had a hand in, like, the materials they use to, you know, situate that for environmental stuff, um, which is pretty rad. And so we're, we test, like, geosynthetic stuff and a bunch of other things. I'm like, that's that's pretty fucking cool, actually. There's even, like, radioactive shit that's just in the lab that I'll be working at. Because I, I went over there and talked to them briefly the other day. And I was like, yo, what the fuck? Ah, oh, here we go. There's somebody who needs to die. YouTube, I swear I'm talking about bugs. It's fine. It's okay, YouTube. I'm not I'm not sending hate speech or anything. I'm just fighting bugs. And I'm just very, very aggressive. It's okay. Fuck you. Black Ox Beetle. There's a horn, finally. Jesus. 
Shiro, hello, hello, hello. Welcome. All right, I gotta deal with this fucking thing. How about you suck it? No gold cards from that thing either. Damn it. Let's see, there should be another black ox beetle somewhere up here. Ready to act this up? Damn, I was gonna glow. Yeah, I'm gonna get cancer. Um, that's that's probably gonna be. But no, mostly what it's about is um, a lot of the materials that they use. Like, if you've ever like looked at a landfill that's being built, where they have like what looks like a trash bag stuff in the bottom of it, we do tests on things like that, on creating things that simulate permeability of clay and shit like that, which is pretty cool. Alright, friend. You might be friendly, but I am not. I'm a menace. And I stand by that. Actually, he's not friendly, but that's beside the point. Yep, and now you got poisoned to death, and now you're dead. Checking Twitter when you're cringing. Twitter is an absolute shit show right now. Um, I I wouldn't be surprised if you wanted to cringe at Twitter because it sucks. Twitter is trash. Like, like Twitter is absolute garbage right now and it's only been getting worse. I don't think it's gonna get any better. So yeah, like fuck Twitter. Twitter sucks. It's what you expect. Yeah, it's it's a shame that like, because Twitter was always kind of like bad and we already knew that. It, it's not like this is a new thing. But since Elon took over, I mean, it's it's just gotten so much worse. What's happening in France? Wait, what's happening in France? There's been a lot of global events happening and I haven't really kept up with like any of it. I Like the most I've heard of global events was like what was happening with Russia. Riots again? More riots in France? That's not too surprising. I think globally people are getting kind of like fed up with their leadership. It's been kind of like a consistent thing. I mean here in the US we're kind of sick of things. People in Russia were apparently kind of sick of things. It's just been, it's been a lot. All oh, right, I'm in combat. Okay, whatever. Ow, dick. Could we, could we not do that? That'd be great. Come here. Yeah, come on, fight for me, ant. And gonna beat your ass. Now, I'm not trying to deal with you guys right now. You're kind of getting on my nerves. Stop it, stupid ants. Uh, some riders set an apartment building on fire in a different city. Uh, I'm sure fire now. They say, Jesus. Yeah, that, that's uh, that's a lot going on. I said I don't really like. I there's a a YouTube channel that I watch, um, that I use as kind of like my main news source in a sense, because I don't really, especially here in the U.S., like news sources are such a disaster and a shit show that they're kind of not especially helpful. But aside from like that one channel, I don't really keep up with anything related to news of any kind. Cause it's just it's just stressful. Like the more I, I hear about it, the more I see about it, it's just exhausting. And I think just especially in the US where things have gotten so fucking insane over the last few years, I just can't. I never count our country that's not in the EU. Yeah, I mean that's Definitely a valid concern. 
to see how it all plays out, I guess. Yeah, why don't you fight that roly poly? See how well that works out for you. Yeah, I'll let the roly poly do my dirty work. Fuck you. What? What are you doing? All right, well, fight him. Who will win, the roly poly or the fire ant? I got a feeling my money's on the roly poly. Then again, there are two fire ants now. Let's let's see how they do. And whichever one loses, I'll kill. Because there are no winners here. Fuck them. Bonk. Oh yeah, he's gonna heal. Well, come on, Roly Poly. Who's gonna get him? And he's dead. All right, now time for you to actually die. Ow. Ow. Fuck off, Roly Poly. Damn, still no, no gold card for that. Ow! Asshole! Tiny ant versus Roly Poly, honestly very cute. Yeah, it was kind of cute. Until it killed it. And then it wasn't so cute anymore. Just bug guts everywhere. You know what, actually, hold on, where are my mutations at? Uh, let's go back to Barbarian. And that's the one that's gonna help me actually do some real damage with this. All right, I hear him. Oh, there he is. All right, let's save it. I mean, you say that, but probably not. Ow. Oh yeah, we're already doing plenty more damage by equipping the barbarian thing. Oh yeah, this, this is already done. Dunion rings, easy, give me that horn. I'm just gonna see you Yeah, see you, Shiro. Thanks for stopping by, I appreciate it. <coughs> Ants, you need to chill. I'm fucking tired of your shit. I'm trying to do other stuff right now. I don't have time to deal with your nonsense. We have to get all the stuff I need to fight the infected brood mother, and I, I can't do that when I'm being accosted by shitty fucking insects. Also, I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need that, I think. Because we're using all my wasp oats right now. We're gonna need a lot more. I'm gonna need that. Which is not ideal. Actually, do I need wasp oats specifically? I might not, actually. Yeah, it does venom damage, and that is helpful. So I guess that is a thing. Hmm. Well, at the very least, I can cut it down. I don't have to fight the wasps. I should fight the drone, but I don't have the stuff I need right now to deal with that. Also, do I have my thing equipped? I do. This is going to be very dangerous, but I think it'll be okay. Just ignore me. Don't worry about it. Ouch. Oh god, ow! Shit. Well, falling down here was not ideal. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to happen. Shit! Ugh, that sucks. Ugh, god damn it. That is not where I wanted to be. Fine, I'll run through the fire ant hill. 
I did not want to be in here, though. Excuse me. Look, I'm just trying to get out of here. Just don't worry about me. It's not a problem. I swear it's fine. Look, I'm, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. I'm just trying to get out of here. You needn't worry yourself. I'll be out of your hair in no time, though. I, I might take your food. Yeah, your food? No. This this is my food now. Ouch, fucker. I'm out. Ow, ow, god damn it. Fuck off. Never mind. Fine. Keep your damn food. Jesus. All right. Where did Where did we fall at? Oh god, it's all the way over there. Jesus Christ. It is all the way over here. And I'm still being attacked by insects, because of course I am. Hey, can we can we go away? Can we stop with the, the attacking and, and the biting of my ass, please? That'd be great. Give me that back. Okay, now. I think the wasp nest fell over here somewhere. So it should be over here somewhere. Yep. Don't worry about me, wasps. It's not a problem. I swear. Where the hell did it fall? Where the hell's the wasp nest? I did not just like get yeeted down into the abyss for a wasp nest just for it to disappear on me. What the fuck? Where did it go? What? What is this nonsense? I cut it down specifically so I could get the wasp paper from that. What? <coughs> See, now that's just fucking rude. Hold on. It it didn't just like disappear into the abyss. That's that's got to be somewhere. Oh shit. Ow. Did it? Did it fall down here somewhere? Like, what? Where did it go? That was the whole point of me going up there, was to get that. <coughs> what the hell? Well, that's not very nice. I took all that damage and all that other problems just just for nothing on that got it cool thanks for that grounded really appreciate that also give me give me this i still parried you even midair get fucked now quit following me nerd let me see i'm gonna need you guys to jump i will kill you i will do it if it comes down to it, I, I will. Look, you want to you want to pick this fight? Are you sure? Are you sure this is a fight that you want to try to deal with? Because no, you, it's not at all. In fact, it didn't go all the way down there, did it? Like. It didn't go all the way down there, right? No way did it go all the way down there. How about how about no, Mr. Fire Ant? You could have given me a gold card too, but you won't do that either. Cause you're stingy.
Yeah, I guess it just disappeared into the void. That's that's really obnoxious. That's true where everything just disappears in Odyssey. It really does feel like that, though. It really does. And that's very irritating. And also the one where I keep getting attacked by ants. This is like real life. Just ants constantly. Alright, could, could you... Ow, fuck off, Jesus. So much for trying to save onto my waspidotes. Fuck. Yeah, fuck you. Get out of here. I'm busy. Let's see. Uh damn. Fine, I'll fight. Hey, bitch, you wanted to fight? Then we'll fight. You wanted this. So this is what you get now. I have personal vendettas against insects like you. Alright. I I'm I'm kind of a little vindictive sometimes when it comes to video games. And I I will go out for revenge. Just because. Which I guess for this game is especially appropriate, considering that the insects will also do the same. Alright, well, let's deal with you. Fuck you. Yeah, how you like that, Black Ox Beetle? How about that? Fire ant? You could you could stop at any time, buddy. This is not a fight you want to do. I still think there's a handful more that we could do for the black ox beetles, and then once we have all those. Oh, well, I guess my spider decided to go pick a fight. I wonder if I can piss off the orb weavers to fight the black ox beetle. Maybe not. I still need to kill some orb weavers anyway, so we'll go kill those in a minute too. Oh man. All right, spider. Or beaver, no one asked you. Where'd you go? You know what? I'm getting real tired of these ladybird larvae. Fuck you, get out of here. All right, you wanna go, bitch? Come on, I'll fucking kill every insect in this area. Except that thing. I'm not fighting that thing. Running from the consequence, consequence, consequence. Running from the consequences of my actions right now. <laughs> There is no way in hell I could deal with a um a green shield bug right now. That's just that's just not gonna happen. Could we could we not? Alright, I need you to fuck off. These things are so hard to parry. Fuck you. Could you stop? Jesus, the least you could do is give me a gold card or some shit, but no, you're just being obnoxious. Let's heal that. Alright, Black Ox Beetle, it's your turn to die now. Ow. 
Ow. I got caught on a wall for that one. Uh, and that thing's mad now. All right then, Ladybird, let's go. If you want to fight, then let's fight. Come on. Ow! Fucker! Get out of here! God. Okay. Uh, let's trash that because I don't really need that. I could always use tough gunk though. I think there's another couple ox beetles back this direction. Yeah, there's one here. Let's place the waypoint there. See how how am I doing on? I need to organize my inventory. Jesus. Uh, let's see. Let's start. Let's start organize out some stuff here. Let's get weapons up here tools that's a talisman thing black ant parts red ant part yep yeah, this all needs to go where it is and then there's this dust mite fuzz all of that These things, red ant head. Could you, could you stop? I'm trying to do some inventory management. I prefer if you just like fucked off for a second. I guess I could just do that too. Sorted. Okay, so that's only four for how many I've killed? Are you serious? God, they're being stingy today. So fucking stingy. Okay, look, I'm tired of you little fuckers. Could you stop? God. I just want black ox beetle horns. So I can do other stuff. So sick of them things. How many do you need? Um, it takes one horn and some... Uh, um, sap to make the thing I need to level up weapons. Um, it takes two of those uh, to make it to make a whetstone. So it takes two whetstones. To, oh, there you are. Hi. It takes two whetstones to make a jewel, but I think that with the um, seeing as we're doing a, a level up for. Uh, an elemental weapon. I think it actually requires less, but I'll have to like double check. Yeah, up to five horns though, so we're we're slowly getting there. So there's one all the way back here, in the very back of the yard too. Yeah, it's it's very stingy. There should be. I think there are three more black ox beetles outside of the one that we're heading to right now and two of them are in the same spot so we'll kill all those dudes and then we should have as many as i can currently get which should be fine what's all of my my missions right now or weavers bees diving bill spiders okay well i can't piss off any bees right now unless i go over to the picnic table so i might could do that in a bit We'll figure it out. There's still plenty to do. I mean, even the wiki for this was like, yeah, you need to be really prepared for this. How about no mosquitoes? Yeah, how about you suck it? Yeah, no one asked you. And no gold cards either. Stingy bastards. The gold cards are a really, really rare drop. I think it's like a 1% drop. Ow. 
And can you fight that thing for a second? Ow, fucker. Could we, could we not? Or, you know, I guess we could do this too. Okay, that's cool. Load last save. What was my last save? Where were we at? We saved after, I think, y'all will see this. Or, actually, no, there's a field station nearby. Respawn a field station. Yeah, there's a field station that was nearby. So, annoying as it may be, yeah, ouchies. That was just kind of bad luck because, again, the upper yard is kind of a pain in the ass. Mostly because, like, there's ladybird larvae that's fucking everywhere. And if it isn't that, it's always the fire ants. There's kind of no way to really not have that be a problem. They're just everywhere all the time. And I kind of hate dealing with it. You know, I was thinking to myself that maybe being the sadist that I am sometimes that I could do a no death grounded run you know of like trying to come back and do no death here that's a horrible idea absolutely horrible idea just, just as a thought horrible horrible idea because this game is hard as balls and I'm like you know I don't, I don't think that I'd do very well yeah, how about, how about we don't do that? And you can suck it. Get out of here. Oh, let's wait for this to come back. Ow, damn it, my pairing sucks on this thing. Fuck you. And he didn't even give me a horn. Asshole. Uh, isn't that more that you're a masochist? I mean, I think it's a bit of both. I, I'd say it's a little bit of both. A bit, a bit of masochism, there's a bit of sadism here. Depends on, on what my mood is and what I'm fighting. I've definitely had moments where I'm like, no, I'm gonna make sure that your death is slow. I've, I've absolutely been that way towards some of these insects because I'm like, you motherfuckers have done pissed me off. And now I'm going to go out of my way to be vindictive. Just because. It's fine. I'm sure it wouldn't put me on any watch lists at all. <laughs> Probably. This is, um... Obsidian commits war crimes against insects. Is that is that what this is? I think that's about where I'm at. Uh, let's see. Do a little bit more healing. Again, there should be three more ox beetles that I can think of. Takes a beating so it can have the satisfaction of beating back. Yeah. Look, it's, it's the same principle as Dark Souls, right? Like, you struggle and you fight and you suffer and you die over and over and over again. <clears throat> and then at that point, it becomes like a pride thing. And you just keep beating your head against the wall, and then when you finally do win, it feels really good. You know, like it feels really, really good to come back from that. All that, the hours of screaming and yelling and being pissed off, like, oh man, it feels so good to like, actually be cool after that. All right, I gotta fight these things. Hey, Spooter, fuck you. Oh yeah, I don't have any room for the spider parts, do I? Anything in here I don't really need? I can eat some stuff. But I am definitely the kind of person who like beats my head against a wall constantly with stuff. I mean, there, there's literally streams of me doing this many, many times. Nope, I'm not fighting you. You can fuck right off, my guy. I'm not dealing with you right now. I don't have the means to do so. Yeah, there are many streams of me 
making things significantly harder on myself than I probably should just because of my pride. Like, that's really all it is. Like, go back and find the Horizon streams. You'll see me fight a fucking robot frog and having a horrible time of it only because I didn't prepare myself properly for the fight. And instead of just, I don't know, reloading to a previous section and fighting it properly without it's actually equipped, I'm like, no, 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 no. We're not doing that. No, we're going to fight it on my terms. And did. And eventually won. It took forever, but we did it. All right, let's say this again. All right, you little bastard, come here. Fuck you, bitch. Ow, that was not on purpose. Hey, we got some more horns. I recall that. Yeah, you were there. Yeah, you, you were there for that. Me being very, very stubborn. I don't know. I, I kind of like the challenge of that kind of stuff. I don't think I used to be this way. I think it really was like Dark Souls that kind of like made me relish that feeling. But nowadays it's just like, oh yeah, there's a challenge. Let's make it harder so I can do it. And then by the time you actually do get a good grip on it. It is kind of fun. Like, playing Code Vein with just the pipe, for example. Like, I haven't finished that, but, um, I got pretty far. Like, I think I'm near the end of the game. And I, I think that's pretty cool, you know? Like, I, I feel really proud of, like, the progress I made by just fighting things with the pipe. Making things harder and then overcoming that challenge and becoming better at something is, is a very satisfying thing. It's not easy, but you know, nothing worth having ever came easy, right? All right, you gonna charge me? Okay, well you get hit on a rock, that's fine. All right, we'll start over then. Let's reload, or not reload, but stamina. Ow, bastard. Out. You know, you could not hit me with a rock in close range. You don't have to hit me with a rock in close range. That's kind of rude. Alrighty. I think there's only two more left. And then I can finally go home. I can finally leave. Cue the, the snap cube. I'm back in the fucking building meme. <laughs> That's what it feels like. I will have to grind this a few times, I think. Like, not probably not on stream, but hopefully I have enough stuff that I can... I can earn what I need to earn. And then maybe I can duplicate a few of these. I'll save one for duplication. If I can. It might be a little expensive to do so, because I think it's like 2k or something to actually do that. So I'm not sure how useful it's gonna be. So use last wasp dote, we're full health again. Drink my juice, let's save it. Hey, look at him, look at him down there. There's two down there. This is going to be rough. Ow, fuck, that hurt. Fuck you. All right, that's one down and I didn't get hardly shit from that. All right, charge me then. Ow. Dude, I was so far away, come on. Bonk, bonk, bonk. 
Okay, whatever. I totally blocked that, but whatever. Seven horns. Out of, like, how many did we just kill? Like, like tons of these fucking things? And we got seven horns out of that. It's kind of some bullshit, if we're being totally honest. That's a little bit of some bullshit. But that's all I could get for what we have. Unless I just kind of kept save scumming. But save scumming takes forever, and I don't really want to do that right now. Alright, so. We have what we need for the moment. What the fuck? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I'm not fighting you. I probably should fight you, but I'm not going to fight you. Right. Sorry, water fleas. I should probably fight you too, but I just don't want to. Not doing it. Not happening. I'm just going to go home. If, if that's cool with you guys, I'm just going to gonna climb up this thing, and we're going to go home. I probably do need this just in case I need to fight something. Run! Ow, bitch. Come here. Come on, then. You wanted this fight? Come here. Yeah, you wanted this shit. I'll have you know, you wanted that. You asked for it. Okay. Don't look down. Don't look down. Let's go home. We've managed to successfully do as much as I could. Let's just drop here. Even if I die, it doesn't matter. Okay. Let's deposit all of our spoils, yeah? That. 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 Uh, anything else in here? Our black ox horns. We'll set those. Uh, these are kind of all over the place, aren't they? Uh, let's see. Regular mosquito stuff here. Glow goo goes here. You can go there. I gotta keep on top of this stuff because the way I organize stuff is not how they organize things. Yeah, like case in point. I, I try to keep it all together, my guy. Let's just let's just keep all that stuff together, please. Thank you. More spider chunks. Goop. Wasp paper. Brood mother chunks. That's already organized. That's organized. 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 Okay, so we have that. Alright, we got our minty spear. Upgrade that. Now we need mint jewels. We need 15. Hi, Tengaris. Hello. Welcome. Mint jewels. We need supreme wets. We just need one for that. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Craft any five, and I'll craft one of those. All right, let's go mint jewel. And I'll put another mint jewel right there. Then I just need that one black ox horn so I can duplicate it. All right, I haven't done any repairs yet. Uh, repair that, that, and that. Thank you. All right, I need to deposit that stuff too. Everything else actually needs to be here, sick. We are slowly but surely getting what I need. But I need to go kill some diving bell spiders, among a few other things. So give me these two things. Hey, spiders! I have a bone to pick with you. With a few of you, actually, because you guys are obnoxious and I need to kill you. Hey, you! Right here! Spider! Hey! 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 Wake up!
Fuck you. Alright, that's one spider down. We need four more to go, I think. There's usually a lot closer to this hole. Where are the others? There's always spiders down here. Make sure we stay away from the fish, though. Wait, where is he? There he is. Come here, come here, you stupid spider. Come here! Time to die. Well, I spawned the mant. There he goes. He must go. His people need him. Well, they did. Until he died. Poor Mant. Alas, poor Mant, we knew thee. Alright, there it is. Hey! You! I need you. I need you both, actually. Yeah, both of you come fight me. Come here. Poke. And poke. Alright, we only need one more. And then go kill a couple of, um... Oh. A new challenger! Come here. And thank you for the 500 raw science. And now I need to go fight some orb weavers. Yeah, so 10 grits to get you caught up on what's happening. We uh, are trying to get prepared to fight the infected brood mother. But she's very, very hard. And I'm, I'm good at this game to some extent, but I am not that good. So I need to um, create, I had to create an entirely new weapon just so I can fight her with it in hopes that I can do enough damage that she'll die from it. Because it's rough. It's very rough. That's a wolf spider. I don't really care about you. I will kill you if I must, but I'd prefer not to. Alright, uh... There's ore beavers around here, too. Actually, I might need to kill him. As you. Oh wait, that counts? Huh. I didn't realize that counted. Interesting. I did not realize that counted. Uh, I might be able to get one extra horn. Which kind of sucks. It's not ideal. Because I, I think they cost 2k... To duplicate or hear me out now I've, I've already made a few jewels anyway I could duplicate the jewels depending on how much that costs me to do that could be a thing I could totally do that so why don't we, so we have all the raw science that I need. Why don't we go get all the bees killed that I need to kill? And then we will um, try to duplicate the jewels if they're done. Which I don't think they are. I think they're actually still cooking. So if they're still cooking, we'll go deal with this. My tower is, is very satisfying, I think. I, I really like this little bouncy stuff. It makes me happy. Assuming I can bounce properly all the way up. Alright, I don't need the swing me stuff on. on okay, let's see. Which one to the bees? It's that one. 
We'll go find some bees. Oh, I'm gonna stretch. Ugh, oh, Jesus. Oh, I still have coffee. It's cold now, though, I bet. I don't think I want to have enough jewels to level up to the last tier. I don't think I will. I think I'm close, but I don't think I want to have enough. Because it, take, it takes five for the next step, and then the very last one is ten. And I think I only have one, so I would need nine more. And I don't think I'm going to have enough raw science to duplicate a bunch of stuff. So... We might not be able to get to that final tier, but we, we can try. If I can get it leveled up once more and then try to level up some other stuff, we can try it again. And we'll see what we can do. Because that, that first attempt with this was just... It was rough. It was very rough. Alright, bees. There's a bee. There's another bee. Alright, I need another bee. Uh, there's one in there somewhere, I think. I hear a sleepy bee. He's about to be a dead bee. Come on. Fuck you, bee. Alright, I need two more bees. You know, while we're up here, why don't we try to get the thing? You hear a happy burp? You do hear a happy burp. He's, he's back there. I gotta give him some more seed. I think he already, um, he already got all of his, his seed that I gave him the other day. Is this the D20? I don't think it's the D20. I gotta find the D20. It's somewhere around here. I'll have to find it. I hear it be over there, but there's probably one asleep in here somewhere. Where are you at, sleepy bee? Because I have to get... Yeah, there's a d20. We'll play around with that in a minute. Could you... Could you come here? Bonk. Nice. Did that did that do it? Coup de grass. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> that totally counts as rolling a d20 for sure that definitely counted I love that isn't it great you roll a d20 get a mutation it's fantastic alrighty we just need one more b and then oh here's an apple let's see I need fresh apple bits so I can make one of the other smoothies I don't have or a couple of the smoothies I don't have, actually. So let's just... Bonk. Bonk. And what do we got? Rotten food. Apple bits. Apple bits. I don't need rotten food. Fresh apple bits. Okay, that should be enough. Once I kill this bee, we should be good to go. Yeah, this game is, is very silly. I like this game a lot. It's a silly, stupid game where you fight a bunch of insects. And I'm alright with that. I just want more people to play with me. Hey, B! Yeah, there you are. Come on. Come fight me. Fuck you. There we go. 
now that I have that taken care of, let's go up here. I'm so glad I built these, like, uh, zipline towers. They make my life so much easier. Just getting to and from places, finishing up quests, it just, it makes everything so much nicer. <coughs> Would definitely recommend. I'm trying to think of, like, other good locations that you could build. Like, when Bananas was here earlier, she was saying that they built kind of close to where I built, but I'm on, like, the lily pads there on the rocks. I think a lot of these, like, big rock flat spaces, like, the, the big plus to building on those is because they're usually... Insects don't tend to go on them. And you can kind of keep them secluded. It's like building maybe, like, on top of the fence or, like, on top of the rocks, maybe. Big open areas are always nice. Inside the grass or, like, in, in the yards or whatever, I'm not sure where you would really build that would be convenient. I feel like... The lower yard's definitely like the ideal spot to build, just for the sake of sake or sake of safety. But then outside of that, like I don't know, there's a lot of good places to go. Especially like late game when you start getting like a lot of the the stuff that you need to get food, to get water and whatever else. You're not really tethered to any specific location. Like building here, for example, like on that rock where my little tower thing is. Um, there's like the juice there. There's all the acorns that give you acorn bits to eat. So there's food and water just kind of around. But I don't particularly need any of that anymore because, you know, I have a giant fucking base now. And I have all this extra stuff. Let's see. I needed to grab. Let me take all of these. Take that. Select. Upgrade. Yeah, we need nine more of those. So now I have a minty spear that's just as powerful as the last spear that I was trying to use. So we might actually do a little bit better this time. But I want to see how much it's going to cost me to duplicate. Probably a lot. I think once I kill the infected broodmother, I am probably going to duplicate her parts. Because I only want to have to fight her, like, only as many times as necessary. I think the duplication stuff is is especially useful for bosses because of how difficult bosses are and the amount of prep work that you need to do. It's much easier just to duplicate those parts than it is to uh, try to do it fairly. Not that it's cheating. I mean, the game literally tells you what to do. Oh, I can do both of those really quickly. That's not a problem. Or all three of those. All right, what does it cost to do this? 2,500 to duplicate? Jesus. What about this? That's 1,000. I could make four of those, which would give me... Th yeah, I could. that actually would be better. Okay, let's duplicate that. Okay, let's grab this. Let's get some more raw science really quick. This won't be very hard. There's lawn mites that are literally right over here. Um, and I need to do that anyway. So yeah, we should be able to get this. I think we should be able to get precisely what we need. I thought that was 2k to duplicate that horn, but I mean, honestly, 3k is fine. I'll take 3k or, or 1k per thing and then get three of them, but you know what I mean. Whatever. Brain go all right? I'm trying to sort out my, my brain and thoughts and stuff, and I can't. All right, so we need to do what? Clover shin, gas mask, lawn mites. Okay, well, that's not hard. There's a bunch of lawn mites over here anyway. And then, if I've duplicated enough of these, we might actually be able to fight. All right, come here then. 
Come on, what you gonna do? You gonna fight me? Alright, I'll fight you now. God, that just feels like I'm thwacking him around. It doesn't even feel like I'm actually stabbing anything, it just feels like I'm flacking. Just thwap, 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 just over and over, and over again. You know, I don't need you. Look, no one asked you, man. You're, you're lucky that I need to wait for my stamina to come back. Otherwise, you'd already be dead. Fuck off, man. No one wants to deal with you. I know where the lawn mites, because I got work to do. Hey, come here. Now, where are the others? I need more lawn mites. Did he kill them all? Did he, did he fart on them and kill them? Bastard. I think he did. Damn it. <laughs> well, not a problem. I know where more of these things are. We'll get it. Let's see. Where is that in relation to here? I, I think we're heading right towards it, actually. I think it's right around this rock. Alright, Lawn Mike. Come here, guys. Yeah, you two can die. Yeah, you're dead. Or some more. Come on, I know there's a bunch of Lawn Mites over here. There's always Lawn Mites over here. Come on. There. Got all of that. We're so close now, I think. Because I think even if I don't have enough um, raw science to duplicate enough of these to get what I need, I think that we'll also be like, pretty close and I can just go to sleep to like speed this stuff up a little bit. And then we'll have three more quests available. We'll do those three quests and then we should have enough to duplicate it. I think, maybe, possibly. We should be getting there. I do like my base. It's, it makes me happy to see this. Like this is this is a lot of work that went into building this. And it's not like, I see a lot of people when I check builds and stuff online. People are always building like castles and things. And I'm like, it, in comparison, it's like a relatively modest build. But it's stylized. It's it's pretty cool looking. It's still a compound, but I like having separate buildings and stuff. Like just smaller, compacted things. And this might be partly because I'm just kind of by myself. And I don't have to share this space with other people right now. But, you know, I think it's still kind of nice. Alright, we need to make clover shin guards and a gas mask. Let's see. Uh, I'm out of weevil noses? Really? Well, I'll go get some in a second. There's weevils always around. And just drop that in the trash. Let's see, let's put the mint jewel here. Let's go over here. Two, three, four. Don't want to do all of that. All right, mint jewel. Oh god, we still need so many more. Uh, how much roll signs do I have? Not nearly enough. Weevil, where the fuck are you at? I have to kill you. Maybe you can give me some foods while you're at it. 
The bar and the hot tubs are some of my faves, and the tower is super impressive. Yeah, the, the tower was the thing, like, okay, so this, this save file, I've been playing it off and on, over and over and over again, right? Part of that was because do, building the tower was such a tedious thing to do. Like, it just, it took forever to get through all of that. And, I mean, when I finally got it done, like, I felt really good about it, but it was just, it took so long to do. But the bar, I really like the bar. It makes me happy. The, the fun story with that, the design for that bar started in my other save file. And it started almost entirely because I wanted to see if I could recreate, like, the Code Vein home base kind of thing. I want to see what I could do with it. And lo and behold, you you could actually create that. So I came up with a really interesting like design, which I decided to keep for a lot of things because it's just kind of neat. I don't know, like whenever I see builds, like maybe it's just because I'm on the wrong side of the the creative bits of grounded, but I don't see like a whole lot of like really creative builds necessarily. Like, again, it's just mostly like mushroom castles and stuff. I don't see people really trying to like push limits of what they can do. Like, you know, like with the Minecraft community, you have like the builder side. They're always doing shit. I don't feel like I see that with Grounded so much. Which is a shame because this game has like such a fun aesthetic. And I really like the way that all this stuff looks. And there's a lot of like room for creativity in how you design and build things. It's just a matter of, you know, doing it. And I don't tend to see that. Like, a lot of the stuff that I have seen has been kind of samey for the most part like my pirate ship video um which by the way if you're on youtube uh go check out the pirate ship video <laughs> i very much like the pirate ship one it was one of those things that like i think it stood out as something that may not be like the most practical based design but it was definitely one of the cooler ones i mean that's just kind of neat like i don't see people doing stuff like that we should we should do more things like, give us all kinds of creative shit to play around with so just just go nuts also, where the fuck are the weevils? I did not get a single weevil nose yet. I don't want to fight larvas. Weevils! You guys for real? You're always hanging around my base. And mushrooms. What the fuck? You're literally always annoying the shit out of me. How are you not around anywhere right now? What the fuck? Oh, I hear one. There it is. Hey, you. Yes, you. Fuck you. There's Weevil Nose. That's what we needed. And I'll kill any others I see on the way back to the base. Uh, Zillion. Hello, hello. How am I doing? I'm doing all right. We're, we're live from Atlanta now. Because that's where I live now. We, we've moved out of out of Bama country, which is great, because fuck Alabama, it sucks. I never wanted to go there anyway. And now I live near things. I can actually do shit, because Atlanta is massive, and there's actually stuff to do. Which is fantastic, because I've always wanted things to do. It's like the drawback of working in geology stuff is... A lot of the, the stuff that I've had to do in the past has just been in the middle of the boonies. So for the last few years or so, I've lived in kind of like the middle of nowhere places. And it's entirely because like sometimes geology work just has to be far from where people live. And there's nothing you can really do about it. But now, I I don't have to travel. Like like with the place I work is so much closer than anything I've done. Like, I'm literally like, like 15 minutes from where I work. Like it's it's super nice. I think I live closer to where I'm supposed to be than like even other people um, who work at the same lab. I think I live much closer than the rest of them. But that's probably because I, I think I get paid more, but that's because the, the company can't lower my pay. So, you know, I'll take it. All right, now then. Let me craft this gas mask. Where is that at? Craft. Only 500? That's not very good. That's not a lot. 
Oh, one thing. Yes. What if, if you're redeeming something on stream? Uh, yeah, you're not the only one to call attention to it. I don't know why. I... I'm really not sure what's going on with that. You know, actually, maybe I do know what's going on with it. Hold on. Hold on. I have an idea. You ready? In fact, let me, let me try this. Do you hear me from all the sides of the mic now? Was that a yes or a no? Did, can you hear me from every side of the microphone now? Or is it just a one side? Just closer? Fuck! I thought, okay, so I thought I had the mic rotated wrong. And like, maybe I was talking to like the wrong side of it. But yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. Why is it only doing that? Is the cable fucked up? Is it one of my... Oh. How about now? Did I did I fix it? <laughs> I think I realized what I did wrong. <laughs> okay, um I'm stupid. That is that's the reason for that. Do you know what that was? My mixer has a cable that runs directly into a little mic jack in the back of my desktop. I plugged the wrong cable in. It, it's supposed to be like the red and the white one. I plugged in the red and the yellow one. So that's why. It just wasn't plugged in. God damn it. <laughs> I'm a stupid idiot. Well, mystery solved. Now you can really hear me. <laughs> uh, I feel stupid. But you know what? Shit happens. What are you going to do? All right, we have five mint jewels. I still need five more of these. I can make two. So we don't quite have enough raw science yet. All right, sleep to morning. Full blast, Obzi! Yeah. It's a good thing I don't after 10 p.m. I'd be annoying the shit out of my neighbors. But yeah, hopefully, uh, now that that problem is fixed, my sound is good. Um, like I said, having moved, it means that I had to rebuild everything from scratch. Which was a bit annoying, and there wasn't a whole lot I could do. But, now we're here. I have a much smaller space. My office and my um, bedroom are in the same room now. So, I actually have like a little nook that my desk... Can your neighbors hear you? I haven't asked them, but I think maybe. I'm hoping not. I have somebody above me, for sure. So the only person I think that it would really annoy is the person above me. And if there's somebody who's like next to me, they might also hear... Um, potentially. I'm not really sure. I'll have to ask them later. Be like, hey, uh, if I'm too loud, just fucking tell me. And I'll try to not be obnoxious. But I have sound foam and stuff in place. Specifically so I don't, like, completely irritate the shit out of everyone. But it's only going to do so much. So I might have to get some more soundproofing for my office. Enclose it a little better, maybe. So that way it kind of insulates the sound even more. And maybe it won't annoy the shit out of people if I'm kind of up. I might have to uh, build a new rage cage. <laughs> that might be a whole thing. I gave my dad my PVC pipe though, so... Uh, I might not be able to do a whole lot there. Alright, duplicate this please. Which oh yeah, Anne, you were here for the rage cage, were you? You don't you don't know about that. <laughs> so I didn't really have a whole lot of a picture of it, but I um I used to have like a bunch of PVC pipe that I built a little like container around my desk. And that used to be what my um what my sound phone would hang off of. Right? So I, I jokingly referred to it as the rage cage. Because it was just, it was a box. Ow. Fucking assholes. Bitch. Yeah, so it, it was the rage cage. And it was just a thing constantly around my desk that I had to, like, basically enter. It was like a, like a recording booth, essentially. That's basically what it was. Um... 
<clears throat> Odds are I might have to make another one. Probably to put some stuff above me. So if I can... I could probably... I, I might not need too much PVC pipe to do it. To at least build above me. But I might need to get something to go behind me. Potentially. Um, just to continue to mute that sound a bit. But we'll have to just... We'll have to see. It's going to take some time. Trying to create, like, essentially a recording booth is is kind of rough. So you need to do a grub vest. Craft that. And then the spider leggings was the other one. Yeah, and we don't need either of those. Mm, let's see. We need... Oh, yeah, I need to make two supreme wet stones. One, two, and then two mint jewels. Yeah, so the the rage cage joke, it it started because it was a reference to sea nanners. So if anybody uh, remembers sea nanners, he used to he used to do a lot of YouTube stuff. He doesn't really do anything anymore. But there's an old, old video of them playing hide and seek, like Nanners and Gassy Mexican, Chilled, and a few others, or something like that. And he just like locks himself in like a little cage and blocks off the the one entrance to it so they can't tag him, and just calls it the Rage Cage. And so I just I stole that joke from him, which is fine. I'm sure Nanners won't mind. It's referential humor. It's okay. It's a shame that he doesn't do a whole lot of stuff anymore because I always thought his stuff was a lot of fun. Way back in the day before YouTube started rewarding watch time and people started making 10 to 15, 20 minute long videos, you know, that kind of stuff. Nanners was making videos that were like five minutes long and they were always fun because it was bite size. It was very focused. Um, I guess in a lot of ways, it's kind of like what TikTok is now, but, you know, more like TikTok feels, I don't want to say low effort because a lot of people put a lot of work into TikTok. But, like, it was it was a different kind of vibe. It wasn't like a shorts or Vine or, or TikTok or whatever else. It had its own nice, you know, short, like, hey, this is a five-minute thing. Watch this. It's all distilled. It's very focused. It doesn't feel like it overstays its welcome. No, no lulls in the humor. It was just the highlights of the fun stuff. And I always liked that. Oh, here's another one. But then YouTube changed all that shit years ago. And then, you know, now everyone has to do... 15 to 20 minute videos to survive on YouTube. If you want to make money from it anyway. I won't make money from this. Probably ever. Though it would be nice. Speaking of YouTube, this is my obligatory like, comment, and subscribe moment. <laughs> we are over on YouTube right now as well. Because fuck Twitch. But um... Yeah, if you um, don't know, I do have a YouTube channel. It's Operation Reburn. There will be a lot more stuff happening on that, like, in the future. Now that my, like, I moved again, and things have settled, hopefully, again. Um, and my schedule is a lot more consistent. I might actually have time to do, like, maybe a weekly stream and then try to work on some videos and stuff. Because I have things that I've, I've... There's so many... I've talked about it many, many times. There are videos that I still want to work on and continue to get, but it's just been... A lot going on. Life keeps kicking me in the ass. And I would prefer it if it would chill the hell out. But it, it doesn't. So, you know. Plus there's a bit of like, you know, struggle to get motivated. There'll be more art streams. Eventually, I'll, I'll put a little more focus on some other stuff. Um, I want to do some more by personal creative projects too. That'll all go on YouTube eventually. Or I'll just create an entirely new channel and we'll just have it dedicated to that and do all my art and creative stuff there. And then this YouTube channel will be whatever it is now. Drop to follow there. Nice. Thank you. YouTube is pretty much like the, the main platform right now, I would say. Yeah. I would say YouTube is like the main platform. Just because Twitch is such a fucking disaster at the moment. And it's going to kind of stay that way. 
and I, I don't, I, I really don't think Twitch is going to get any better, which is kind of sad. Like, I, I hate to be, like, the, the doom and gloom kind of person about it, but it, it does frustrate me the direction Twitch has been going for a while. And I'm very concerned that there's just not a whole lot that you can really do with anything on Twitch. It just feels kind of like it's dying. Not like Twitter dying. Twitter's Twitter is kind of dead. It's not dead dead, but it's dead. Elon's going to kill that site within a year. For sure. Which sucks, but... Twitch's problem more so is like, it just costs too much money and they're under a lot of pressure from Amazon. Wait, did I eat all those fresh apple bits? I didn't. Okay, cool. Don't want to make sure I'm much on that. Twitter's a mess. I don't know if it's going to make it to the new CEO. Yeah, it might not. Like, a lot of people said these, these new changes of like the tweet limit thing and like limiting it so that you have to be logged in to actually like see anything on the site. I mean, that's that's going to kill a, a lot. You know, like that's that's not good for anything. So I'm not really sure what Elon hopes to accomplish because it's he's just killing the site slowly and painfully. They didn't pay Google Cloud Service when people say his rules were just broken. Oh yeah, no, that's that's definitely. I mean, yeah, Zillion, it's it's been nothing but a disaster ever since Elon took over. It's it's been much much worse. Like here, let, let's take a little pause for a moment. And I'll, I'll use an example of why uh, Twitter got worse, okay? So my Twitter, as, as I have mentioned many times, kind of stagnated a bit, mostly because I went on hiatus for a long time. But I've been getting followers pretty consistently lately. Do you know how many of those are real? Like none. So let, let's go through here and count, just, just very briefly count my recent followers and how many of those are bots from like last couple of weeks or so, all right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Yeah, there's like like 40 of my recent followers have all been bots, almost entirely. They're just like porn bots. So if, if you remember um, like 2012 Tumblr, like if, if anybody remembers what 2012 Tumblr was like, and it was, this is like pre-porn ban, right? Tumblr had a huge problem of bots, like porn bots following people, spamming. It was a huge issue. It never went away. It was a horrible, horrible time for everyone involved. No one was happy about it. And they begged and begged and begged for Tumblr to do something about it because you would you would gain followers, but they were just porn bots. And it was, it was horrible. And everyone complained and it never got fixed for years. And then they did the porn ban. And then everyone left Tumblr and went to Twitter and everything got worse. But what, what Twitter feels like now, with how little we hear from things, how broken everything is all the time, it's, it's just Tumblr. It's what Tumblr was. In all the worst ways possible, it's what Tumblr used to be. A lot of chronically online takes, the site barely functions, and you've got a lot of shitty bots following you all the time instead of actual people in engagement. But at least Tumblr never tried to charge you for it. You know, at least there's that. At least Tumblr never tried to charge you for things. I never thought in my life I would defend Tumblr in any form or fashion, but here we are. I have to defend it. <coughs> Hold on anything until the staff at Twitter um, decide enough is enough and do a PowerPoint to grab Elon. I mean, they can't. They, they can't do it at all. That's the problem. A lot of the people who could have done something, who wanted to actually do, left. It's, it's not, they're not going to fight Elon for it because his raging ego is going to stop anybody from doing anything because he's the majority shareholder. He just, he owns it. There's nothing they can do. A lot of the people who actually wanted to make Twitter a better place, who wanted to help, they quit. They fucking left because they knew it was going to be a mess. 
And, I mean, can you really blame them? Like, it's, it's just, it's been nothing but a shit show ever since he took over. And it hasn't been getting any better, and it's not gonna get any better. So, no, I don't think they're gonna be doing that. I don't think anybody will. And I don't think, even if they wanted to, I don't think they can. Which is the real, like, bittersweet thing with that. Damn it, I just need a little bit more raw science to be able to, like, actually get this thing leveled up. It's gonna be more powerful than my current spear is, which is crazy. Let's see. Let's... We will go... I swear we will go fight the, uh, infected broodmother once more here shortly. I'm gonna store that back. Um... Hold on. Where did I put... If that's just clogging up my inventory, that needs to go there. Um, hmm. I guess crossbow is not going to be super helpful in this instance. Let's see. Actually, I think I had this up higher. This was up here. That was up there. And then this was here and this was the widow dagger yeah okay, I just don't really need to carry all this extra shit with me let's put that here termite axe hammer yeah there we go what about blue sky I'm thinking of setting up on a wait list for it um, I've never even heard of it, but I, I feel like right now the biggest competitor for Twitter is supposed to be Mastodon, but I don't think Mastodon has the infrastructure to really survive. Like, I just, I don't think Mastodon can cut it. Like, from what I've heard, it's just, it's kind of limited. It's a little bit broken. Like, it just, it doesn't work. Like, the problem with Twitter dying the way it is, is that there's just, there's no better alternative. There's just nothing we can do about that. And that sucks. But there, there's just, there's nothing we can do. I wish there was more that could be done about it, but I mean, it's just... Screw my church, come on. I mean, maybe, but we'll have to see. I just, I... I have my doubts, to say the least. See, do I still have this stuff on me? I do. Hold on, we gotta we gotta go down to the pond for a second. I'm just I'm not convinced that there's a good competitor for Twitter right now. And when Twitter dies, I mean it's gonna be a huge loss. Not because Twitter is actually anything more than a cesspool of bullshit, but Twitter has served as a way for people in many countries whose governments censor their bullshit all the time. Twitter has been a way for people to communicate. It's it's where people keep up to date on live events that are happening. Like, you know, say here in the States when there's a mass shooting. It's how people, like, know that something's going on. It's how they stay informed, how they keep up to date with what's happening. While information may not necessarily be the best, when Twitter implemented fact checkers, that was to help. And in a lot of other countries where their government controls most of the media, Twitter is a way for people to get information that their government is trying to keep from them. And Twitter going the way that it has, it's just, it's a shame. For, for someone who claims to be a free speech absolutist, Elon has actually actively suppressed free speech. Like I was just watching a video recently that was talking about how he has just before like, uh, like I think it was like a Turkish election, um, he received requests from their regime to censor political rivals and did so and a lot of experts have pointed out that having twitter go down in a country does a lot more to hurt the regime that's in charge than it does to have them selectively censor reporters who are speaking out against the corrupt government and centering those people like he's done shit like that and i'm like you know what elon this is pretty fucked up like like that's not okay man so there's, there's like a lot of shit about how Twitter's been handled that just 
it's it's such a loss for just readily available information and keeping up to date with what's happening, even if it's not entirely accurate all the time. It it is a loss, and there's just there's nothing with that kind of pull or draw right now that's supposed to help. There, there's nothing that can compete with it, not to the same level. So maybe Facebook will do something, but also Facebook is known for destabilizing countries, and being at the like being the reason why election results in the U.S. get like affected. Russia used Facebook as a way to shift people's opinions and influence the election. And that's a documented fact. Like, that actually happened. They did do that. They used social media and disinformation campaigns. So it's like... I don't know that I really want to rely on Facebook for that. You know? I feel like that's that's not, a, not, not the best results for this stuff. I feel that's, that's a bit of a problem. <coughs> Holy shit, that was some thunder. I guess it's raining today. Let's see. Max stamina. This would boost attack. Alright, we have a lot of stuff now. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to start putting these things in here. So I can readily access a few things. So I need to, to move these over. Uh, yep, pin that right there. Safe than sorry. Get that. Get this one, oh, hold on. Three, there we go. We're getting very close. We've almost got about all we need. Uh, I got some good info from users. I get 50 for tech art, game updates for tech. Yeah, like there's, there's all kinds of useful information that you can get from Twitter, and unfortunately, that doesn't happen anymore. That's just that's just not possible anymore. Because Elon's raging ego won't let him do anything else. And it's what it what it screams to me personally is it's the same kind of symptom of why AI art is a problem. It's a bunch of tech bros from Silicon Valley who think they know what they're doing. They think they know better than everyone else. And they're trying to reinvent the wheel. You know, like every few years or so, you get a tech bro out of Silicon Valley that's like coming up with some new invention that's going to revolutionize the shipping industry. And it's just they, they, they reinvented trains. They just, they read it, reinvent trains. And they keep doing this like every year like on like a fucking loop. It just keeps happening. This is what that feels like. It's just, it's a tech bro who's like, I know better than best. I'm a fucking genius. I know what I'm going to do. And then they just ruin everything all the time. They don't know what they actually think they know. And they make everything worse. When AI was conceptualized, that stuff was supposed to help us remove the mundane bullshit out of our lives so we could focus on the humanities. But instead, tech bros are like, fuck art, fuck music. Fuck your voice. We're going to replace all of it with AI because we can. Elon takes over Twitter and he's like, fuck your fact checkers. Fuck your staff. I'm going to do all this shit because I can do better. I'm a free speech absolutist. Instead, he just mutes people who disagree with him and bullied him because he's an idiot. And I'm like, yeah, uh, okay, sure, Elon. It's, it's this very frustrating... It's just, it's ego. I don't really know what else to call it. Hubris, ego, whatever you want to call it. It's it's just that. All the time. And I get so tired of it. I get so tired of, of tech bros trying to replace every aspect of my life or ruining things that were actually fun or making it harder for us to just kind of like do our day to day because they think they know better. I get so tired of that. That's where cryptocurrency came from. Thought they could reinvent money. They didn't. They did a horrible job of it, in fact. They thought they could reinvent everything. But you just break in. I don't know. The, the, the state of, of a lot of things, like the internet, social media, a lot of that stuff, it's just so frustrating. And it's demoralizing. Like we live... I, I would say it's probably a, a safe assumption to say that we live in the shittiest dystopia. 
Like, we couldn't have the Blade Runner feature. Instead, we just get stupid garbage instead. And, like, man, it would have been great if we could, like, at least have cool holograms or some shit to look at or just something. Android helpers, just anything. But instead, we have to look just this, this garbage. Like, come on, really? This is how things gotta go? Really, Elon? But, hey, you know what? We got We got billionaires blowing themselves up at the bottom of the Titanic area because they think they know better so you know what i think just just let them just let them go let let them learn the consequences of their actions i think that's gonna be the best thing to do just just let them learn but you nerds think they know better think they can build a fucking submarine and then they implode because of their own hubris all right go for it chief if you think you can do better the ai tech bros the guys are trying to like hold up let them cook exactly the, the AI bros are learning very quickly that by scraping data from the internet and trying to shit on all copyright stuff that A, they have no rights to the stuff that their AI art produces, and B, because AI art has flooded the market, that all they're doing is scraping AI art itself and it's creating abominations. They AI art has become the snake that eats itself. And it's not just with art. It's with all the text generation stuff from ChatGPT and everything else is eating itself. That's what's happening right now. We had lawyers try to use it to supplant their like legal research, and they didn't bother to check it, and it lied, made up re like sources and shit, and then they got in trouble with the courts. So they're gonna learn really quick the consequences of their actions. <laughs> so you know what? As as frustrating as it is for me to see this stuff happening, go go ahead. I want to I want to see you do this. Go right ahead. It's it's like um another guy on TikTok had a, a similar thought where he was like. You know, you always have, like, that guy that's like, yeah, I think I could probably fight a wolf. You know, just, just punch it and grab it. It's like, okay, sure, man. But I think that what we need to do instead is just kind of let him. Like, you know, you think you, can, you think you can do this? Go right ahead. Let's let's see how that plays out. Just strip that guy, put him in a fucking arena with a bunch of hungry-ass wolves and see how he handles himself. Go for it, Chief. I, I want to see you handle this. I really do. Some people have said that this uh, Titan submarine thing has reset our timeline that Harambe's death uh, led to. And I'm like, yeah, let's go. Harambe's death was a canon event. The billionaires dying in a submarine was a canon event. Let's go. <laughs> reset the timeline. Right, what do we got for quests? Ladybug, water flea, wolf spiders. Okay, I can do all that. That's easy. Uh, I know the infected wolf spider would count, but I don't want to fight that thing. Okay. Wolf spider. We got to fight, buddy. No, you don't. Bye. Alright, where's the other one? I'm mildly poisoned, but that's not a problem. Uh, okay, well, you know, you're not a problem. I'm not worried about you. You can fuck right off, or Weaver. Nobody needs you. I'm here for the wolf spiders. I think this might be the most satisfying thing about this game. When you start off, the wolf spiders are kind of like the biggest threat to you. Like they're they're massive threats. And then you just come in here and And now I'm like, nah, fuck you bitch. <laughs> Dead. Like, that's so nice. I feel so powerful. And then I go fight the infected brew mother and everything sucks. I'm trying to remember where there's another wolf spider that's near here. Uh, I mean, there's the infected one, but I don't want to fight that thing. Well, we still got to kill some ladybugs too, so if I can find some of those dudes. Oh wait, is he stuck? 
Oh, is he stuck? Can I can I kill him? If, is he stuck? Oh, he might be stuck. Okay, hang on. If you can stay stuck, right where you are, and you can just just stay right there, friend. I have a crossbow and some arrows with your name on it. And then you'll count as my last thing here. And then I can go get this last thing to level up my spear, which will be even more powerful than it was when we started the stream. And we'll be able to do this. I Maybe. Let's see. He's weak to mint, but we'll just get some regular arrows here. All right, give me this. Oh yeah, he's stuck. He's stuck, stuck. Okay, maybe I can get him. Fuck your life, bing bong. He's not stuck anymore. But he can't come over here, so I'm just gonna... Yeah, shoot your fucking goo, my dude, I don't care. Hey, come on, do it, pussy. You won't. God, I am so aggressive. I missed! Shit. Maybe I have enough to do this? I don't know. If not, I'll go beat him up. Bing bong! <laughs> Shit! Okay. Well, this is a problem. Ow! Shit. Okay. Let's do that. Is he gonna jump over here? Ow, fucker. No, no, fucker, come back here. You don't get to run away. Sam, to come back, please. Yeah, fuck you. Got him. I had to use my wasp nodes for that, but that's fine. We still have plenty of other things to use. <coughs> nice. I have very few arrows left. Also, I need food. Uh, oh, I have exactly a thousand. Okay, so I can duplicate this and we should have enough. We can do the rest of these things later. I'm not worried about it. Honestly, duplication really is like super convenient for something like this. These like late game items. As much as it like is time consuming to some extent, they don't really put you into the upper yard that often. So I guess this might actually be easier to do. Particularly if you have a good, you know, system in place to navigate around the yard. Like I think I'd rather kill a bunch of like ladybugs, water fleas, and wolf spiders. Or maybe crafting some useless armor bits that I don't need anymore. Than I would be to go up there and beat a bunch of black ox beetles and have to run around the fucking yard to find them. Okay, but that should be the last duplication thing that we needed. So, I think we're about good. I think we've almost got it. We'll grab some foods. We'll put this stuff on to go. Rest in the hot tub for a little bit. See, I have everything else I need. Yep, moldy hoagie, got that in place. Oh yeah, we totally got this. All right, you, craft one of those, put you over here, make a mint jewel, craft that. I'm all out of the twinkling shells anyway, so I'll have to go grab some of that stuff later. Grab a couple of these. Oh, I healed from that, nice. Wait, do I have my shield in place? I do, okay. This really is really ominous, isn't it? <laughs> this whole thing over here is just very ominous. Look, it's fine. I promise. You you don't need to worry. I'm not not boiling you in a pot. Potentially, maybe, possibly.
Potentially. You never know. Maybe I am boiling you in a pot for foods. I have been out in the backyard for a long time. I might have gone feral. You never know. All right, hurry up. I have, I have things to make and insects to go fight. Let's go. Hurry up. Hurry up. Can I make another shelf? I might, I might make another shelf. I like these shelves. I haven't really used a lot of them. I thought you could stow stuff on them, but you can't really. They're just decorative. I was hoping you could like store actual things on it, but you really can't. It's just kind of a thing. Hmm. I might be able to put a few things up though. So, you know, we, could, we could decorate my workshop a little bit while I wait for things to sort themselves out. Oh, I don't have a picture frame anywhere. That sounds like fun. Mm, where can I put a picture frame? I might put one over here. I was going to decorate the workshop, but I might want to put one up in here somewhere. Uh, picture frame. Oh, that's adorable. It's so small. I'll just put that right there. Look at all the things I got. I got all this stuff. Why don't we put... I'll put Mothman in it. Moth. Come on now. Hurry up and cook so I can finish leveling up my weapon. Oh, so close. So close. We're almost there. Yes, take all. Okay. This. Upgrade it. It's now to max. They can't stop us now. I am I'm about to become unstoppable. Alrighty. So I think we, we are as prepped as I can be. Alright, mutations. Let's get the javelin ear back. I need that one. Let's see. Mom jeans, corporate kickback. Man, serious stranger yoked blows. Damage reflect. Yeah, okay. I think we've got the build I want to go for. Now that we're doing actual, like, mint damage. In fact, oh, I don't have the mint jewel, though, but I do have this. So let's go. Let's, let's try this once more. Let's see how well we do. I mean, this, this boss is like, I, I'm not really sure how to stop her healing is kind of like the only thing. Cause she heals from explosions. So how do I combat that? And that's kind of the biggest issue right now is I don't really know what to do with it. But we'll figure it out eventually, somehow. How long have I been streaming for? A couple hours, I think. We'll give this a couple of attempts. I don't know if we'll beat it or not. I've done all I can to make sure that I'm prepared for that, but... You know, we'll see. I will try my best. I have as leveled up stuff as I can, so it's really just a skill issue. On a happier stuff, what do you think of the new Double Dragon game that's coming out? I didn't even know there was a Double Dragon game coming out. Didn't even know. Is Way Forward doing that? Way Forward did the Double Dragon Neon. I haven't heard of them talking about that at all. But, you know, maybe that's what they're working on. It would be news to me. Okay, we need to go down and then down again. All right.
Maybe this time I can actually do this. Alright, you little bastard. Come here. Blow up. We have our fresh spear. It does infection damage, but I don't know if that actually does anything to her. <sighs> Alright. Let's go. Let's try this again. Come on, bitch. So come on, let's let's go. Nope. Ow. Fuck that up. Alright, if I can just get through phase one. Fucker. Okay, I need you. I need you to stop that. All right, that's phase one. God, this thing is so creepy. Ow. No, you don't. Ow, I don't appreciate that debuff. Where does she go? Ow. Shit, she's gonna heal from that. No, stop it. Quit hitting the mant. Could you stop doing that? Come on, you little bastard. Come here. Come here, I need you. Yeah, block that. I need to keep healing. Come on, ow, fucker. Well, we're getting her down to halfway. That's pretty good. Ow. Stop that. I'm getting a lot better at blocking that stuff, though. Not that, but... Ouch. Come here now. I want to get through phase two.
Come on, you little bastard. And we're not doing super great on health here. I won't make it through phase three if I even make it to phase three. We are doing better on damage though. Come on, I need to heal. Come on, man, tell me get with it. We got this. We can get, I believe. I, I want to get to phase three. Uh, oh, and I died. Hey, but you know what? That thing is huge, yeah. Okay, that wasn't too bad of a run, though. We did much better than the last time we tried this. All right, let's save. Let's do it again. Yeah, that did a lot better. <coughs> if I get better at, like, blocking those attacks, I think we'll be able to do it. At least get to phase three. I don't know how phase... Th or I don't know how phase three is going to go. But if I can get to phase three, that would be really good. So we're, we're getting there. Yeah, look, look at her up there. This... The one guy that designed this... Andy, my guy, who hurt you? Who hurt you with this? Like, who hurt you with this shit, man? All right, come on, we got this. All right, we got we got two mants. Let's go. Come on, mants. You guys got it. I believe in you. We can do this. Nope. Go away, you. Alright. That's phase one. God, that's just so creepy. Ow, thanks for the debuff. Nope. Ow, shit. Well, that didn't do any good. Ow, come here. Ouch. I'm gonna break that stupid egg of yours. Which I know I needed to do before and I just not remembered it. Nope, come here. God, that, the roar is so hard to block. Ow. I can't see shit. Come here. No, you don't. Come here. Let me get that stupid egg thing.
No, you don't. Come here. Nope. Let's do another buff to attack. Block that. I'm just going to have to ignore that. No, you don't. Get out of that water. Get out of that. Get out of there. I am getting pretty good at blocking this stuff though. The roar is the only thing that's really kind of fucking with me. Out, stop that. God, how are you already back to have help? Get out of the water, you asshole! God, this is why I hate do Fuck you, get out of the water. God, it's fucking, it get out of the water, Jesus! Low, no, see, I almost had that, but because she spent so much time in the water, I'm not doing enough damage to be able to, like, stop that. The Roar is doing a perma debuff, I think, and I need to be better about blocking, because if I don't block that, I'm going to be doing shitty damage the whole time. And we'll never be able to do enough damage to get out of it. We are doing generally better on damage, though. Come on, then. Get away from that water. Well, I fucked that up. Could we, could we stop with the Explody Weevils, please? Great, thank you. Oh my god, please, stay, I'm gonna come back. Get out of the fucking water! Get out of that! God, I can't. This is so frustrating. And yeah, now get out of that. I'm getting shitty at blocking this. Nope, I broke your stupid spore. Now get out of the fucking water, you asshole.
Ow. Yeah, if you can stay right here, that would actually be perfect for me. You can just, just stay, no, 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 wrong side. Where are you? What the fuck is it? God, I can't see shit. Why is my thing going away? Break the spore. Jesus. Okay, so here's here's how this boss fight works. There is a pool of water. Actually, I'll just, I'll show you. Uh, load last save. I'll, there, there's a few things about this fight that sucks. This is the hardest fight in the game by far. No question about it. This is the hardest fight in the game. Um, so there is this pool of water right here. This, this glowy pool of shit. If she stands in this, she gets buffs. Buffs to the attack damage that she can do. Buffs to everything else. And she heals as well. So this boss is really stupid in that Things that explode will cause her to heal. So if she stands in this, she heals. If these little explody bastards show up, she heals. If she summons bombs, she heals. She can also get a lifesteal thing from you as well. Which means she can also attack you and regain... I think that when she's in the pool of water, she regains health from the amount of damage that she deals to you. So there, there's a lot of ways that she heals from. Think of her as like the Melania of this game. Like, she's literally just like Spider Melania. She, she sucks. Plus, every single phase she gains more health. Yeah, regain my stamina. Ow, fucker. That sucked. She'll shred your armor as well, so there's there's things that she can do, like that screech that she does in phase two. It does a permanent debuff. Which means that she'll do more damage to you. And she will um, make it so that you can't heal very well either. And if you get to phase three by that point, you literally won't even be able to heal at all. All right, phase one done. So yeah, she can. She literally is just broken. Like the fuck this boss fight. You could just not do that. Now get out of my face. So I need to perfect block that, but I suck at it instead of doing it. And all those bombs, all of them heal her. So she's probably already almost recovered from all that damage I've already done. She also lays this stupid thing. You could get out of the water at any time. That's why the second phase is taking so long. It's because I can't keep her out of the water. So she can't do more damage. And she keeps summoning bombs that heal her.
Yeah, you can just not do that. And we're already basically out of my healing items. Well, let me let me destroy it. Damn it. Please die. I just want to get to phase three at least. And the bombs got me, okay. <sighs> we are getting better. I knew this was gonna be how this room was gonna go. Like I knew that this was gonna be hard because I, I did a lot of research prior to doing this, and I was like, yeah, I know this is gonna be rough. So, we're gonna probably be here a while doing this, but I just have to get better at blocking her attacks. That's really all it is. There isn't really a whole lot I can do other than just getting good, really and truly. I just have to get good. God, that is just creepy. All right, let's go. Let's keep up the attacks. Yeah, why don't you get out of that? Get out of the fucking water, you asshole! Fuck off! I didn't block that soon enough. Ow. 